itself in place. Oh, goody. OK. All right. Uh, it seems to be up. Let me just get Alrighty. fully situated on my couch. Uh, oh, god. <laughs> Whenever I move, like it's it's winter, so it's staticky. And when I move oh, yeah. with my phone plugged in and my finger near the charger, I get little extra shocks, um, <laughs> which is probably fine. <laughs> oh boy! Uh, hello, everybody. Let me just get the game going. Uh, let's see. You are adding the fundraiser I to it. Got um, it. It's on. Perfect. Uh, oh yeah, there it is. Uh, I'm gonna grab the link real quick. Uh, the <laughs> every time I make that joke, I think it's funny. Okay, where are we at? Tweet uh, it for you if you want. <laughs> I uh, I'm gonna tweet it as a reply to the okay, cool. uh, funny little picture I set up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that, the grin on your face in that picture. Oh, why? Is thank you. So funny. Live now. Join uh, the party. If looks could kill, Rivali still couldn't. <laughs> oh, baby. He, he'd try, bless his heart. Okay, so, hello, everybody. I'm seeing, I'm seeing some taters precious for some reason. Um, let's see. Uh, some potatoes? Some, some potatoes. potatoes. I think that, uh, that was the emoji sign for the audio balance is good. Oh, goody. Uh, yeah, I've, I've, I've nudged the game audio down a skosh, uh, because it was fine before, but you know how I do. Um, where's Ravali's flight range thingy? Uh, yeah, so, uh, because you wonderful people raised $10,000 for Turkish and Syrian earthquake relief last time, uh, which we are fundraising for again, because it turns out earthquakes don't just go away. Uh, we uh, are making the goal of this stream, the very first goal, to uh, go and beat Divine Beast Vomito, which is up there somewhere. There it is. Hear that bitch. We're coming for you. Anyway, um, yeah, so there's a couple things we got to take care of, uh, mostly going to the flight range and then dealing with whatever we find there. So that'll be fun. Um, yeah, and then uh, assuming we can do that, uh, then we should, <laughs> well, who knows what we'll do next, but the first goal will be this, this whole dungeon, so that should be fun. Um, let's see, it wants me to go to the flight range. Oh, right, to the left. I see how confusing this is. Huh. Today's stream is subtitled, Kill That Bird. <laughs> kill That Bird! I'm gonna kill that bird, baby. And I had an idea, because we got the full Barbarian set last time, because we, we ended up the stream by doing all the um, uh, Labyrinths. The, the first two, I, I felt like we cheated on, because one of them I literally paraglided in, took two left turns, and found the exit. Um, uh, but then the third one humbled me by being really, really annoying. But we have the full Barbarian set now. Um, so what I'm going to do at some point is we're going to go dye the whole thing red, because I want to know what, what that does. Apparently it changes the body paint pattern, which is kind of cool. Um, oh, it changes the patterns. Yeah, I didn't know that. that's what I've heard. Uh, yeah. Alrighty. <laughs> Someone said, "Hey, hashtag kill that bird." Hashtag kill that bird. <laughs> We're gonna kill that bird. Oh yes, and we also acquired a. Oh, please hold on. Uh, I put away the flaming sword. I'm gonna have to put on sleeves. So, all right, fellas. Oh wait, hold on. I remember. Ah, hey, hey. I. Everyone keeps telling me, hey, use bombs on these guys. It's much more efficient. And they're right, I just keep forgetting. So. Hey. Hey. Get out of here. It's fitting that we're going to kill the absolute wimpiest of the Blight Cannon. Ah, ah, ah! Why is he so fast? Why is he so fast? <laughs> And the implication is that Rivali still couldn't handle him. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, Water Blight's a real asshole. Fire Blight is, can be pretty rough if Daruk didn't have bombs. There's really nothing you can do. Yeah. Um, weird, weird soft lock, okay. Um, <laughs> but, like, are Bosa getting killed by Thunderblight? Like, yeah. That makes sense. Uh, yeah, like, Thunderblight 
is a bitch. <laughs> we know Urbosa is the scariest motherfucker of the champions. Um, hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. God, why are you so friggin' fast? <gasps> oh. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, Link. Link, buddy, I need you to stop ragdolling. Okay, thank you. You know, guys, I'm not gonna tell you how to play this game, but, um, this bomb solution does not feel as efficient as some. It is efficient in that it doesn't degrade your weapons, but it is very finicky. Mm -hmm. So it's, you know, it is... It's efficient, but not necessarily yes. optimal. <laughs> oh, I didn't Because you're already kind of drowning in weapons anyway, so just use whatever your weakest one is. Yeah, exactly. And you're fine. Ah, oh, dang it, now I'm cold again. Ugh, everything is a chore. All right, you friggin' whiner. What do I have? Uh. Oh yeah, yeah. We might need to go and get the Rito headgear later. Um. Oh wait, hold on. That's the wrong one. Come on. Oh yes, the the worm double. Ow! Good God, man. Thank you. Criminy. Okay. Oh yeah, we might need to cook too. Uh, ah, we're fine. Let's go to the flight range. Let's go to the flight range. Let's go. Fine. He is gonna give Ashley us time says, to. Ashley says, "Bowl was rigged." That was a week ago. Let it go. <laughs> <laughs> it was a week ago. It was a week. Move on. We're here. <laughs> oh boy. If I can just, like, slowly, like, maneuver our chat into behaving like Doug Doug's chat, we'll be <laughs> great. <laughs> oh, no. Come on, man. We can't be this actively hostile to them. Well, no, not hostile. Just, like, the... Uh, the word. The... Because it, it's, not, it's not that we're hostile. It's that chat is always rebelling against us oh i see and that's that's the fun energy i guess chat was the true bad boy all along oh yeah uh -huh. how convenient how convenient nah i forget that one nine damage <laughs> weak sauce oh whoops <laughs> walked right into that cutscene trigger <laughs> now who's this fellow yeah <laughs> what is with all these edgy bird boys? I don't know you. And I'm actually pretty busy here. You should probably go. Half of his face is guy liner. <laughs> <laughs> is this the same voice actor for Rivali? I feel like it is. Hold on. Well, okay, he doesn't want to talk to us. Let's cook some food. <laughs> Uh, let's see, what's a good one? Defense up would be nice. Maximum defense up would be really nice. <laughs> yeah! Alright, what else we got? Oh my god, same is... actor. I thought so, yeah. Doing like both ends of his range. John Chiplock, Rivali, Tiba, and the Great Deku Tree. Really? Yeah. Huh. Oh, you know what? This actually is across the board. Um, so Joe Hernandez does Daruk and Unovo. Elizabeth Maxwell does Urbosa and Riju. Really? Um... And then, okay, so obviously Sidon and Mifa are not voiced by the same person. That would be pretty impressive. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Oh god, this IMDb page is impossible. It shows all the language casts together, which makes it very hard <laughs> to sort through. Some random Hylian wants to help me bring down Divine Beast Bob Meadow. <laughs> I'm not buying it. What's your name, stranger? I like how it doesn't give me the option to fuck with it. I'm like, sorry. Hmm. Like, huh? Stupid name. Anyway. I'm guessing the Elder asked you to come here and talk some sense to me. Am I right? Eh. Just like the Elder, trust any fool wandering into town. 
You, you seem like an alright guy. Ah, see? We're already friends. I can't rest until my people are safe. Oh, I feel that, buddy. There's only one way I'm going back to Rito Village. In a body bag. <laughs> <laughs> if I have to kill Meadow, so be it. Honestly, shout out to this guy who's like, I'm gonna fucking fight God, basically. <laughs> oh, this thing is the ancient giant robot guardian of our village. I'm gonna fuck it up! Far be it for me to talk you off the ledge. <laughs> it's as if the Elder said. The only way to stop Divine Beast Palmetto is to get inside it. That chance of that happening? Well, actually, uh... <laughs> oh, rude! Come on, Teva, I'm trying to help you out here. The only people able to enter the Divine Beast of the Five, champions of old. Well, huh. Lucky for you, I uh, happen to be on speaking terms with most of them. If it hadn't been Except for her, Ravali. <laughs> <laughs> One step at a time. Its cannons will blast us out of the sky before we even get close. So I'm gonna need to test you before I take you with me. We Rito warriors use the updraft and serve to hone our aerial archery skills. The updraft is so strong here that a per person could just open up a cloth over their head and float up easily. Wow, what an organic thing to say. <laughs> Let's see what you're capable of. I'm ready. Hmm. Let's go destroy five targets with your arrows. All right, let's see what bows I've got for this. I don't think the multi-shot bow would be good. Uh, time out. <laughs> mm. Meh. Yeah, that's fine. One of my favorite YouTube videos, just like thumbnail title combination I've ever seen, is the thumbnail is picture of a volley, and it says, you have no way of making it to that divine beast on your own. The title is, Henway's Link can make it up to that divine beast on his own. I just watched that video like yesterday. Dang it, guys. You guys are being real inconvenient about this. I'm actually, I'm, I'm going to uh, That's it. put that in chat, because it is genuinely very It's funny. such a funny video. One more. Thanks, buddy. See, he likes us. Perfect. Perfect. The fun thing about Divine Beast Palmetto, though, is its collision physics aren't active until you start the quest, basically. It was as if time stopped with the every arrow you let fly. More evidence that Link's champion ability is bullet time. Yeah. <laughs> when, I, when you first showed up, I thought someone was pulling a prank on me. Yeah, I do have that effect on people. <laughs> I can see the real deal. You must have seen a battle or two. Yeah, I've seen a few. Don't be modest. I can tell just by looking at you. Ah, shucks. <laughs> this twink is battle-hardened. Link. I feel I've heard that name somewhere before. Now or never. Grawled into the walls of my uh, great-uncle Ravali's house. <laughs> okay. So, basically, we come back here to start the quest. There's a couple things I want to do. If I can, I want to get the Rito armor. So we're going to just real quick warp, warp to the shrine at Rito Village, and then we're going to warp back to this shrine and go from there. Because um, if we can get cold weather gear that has actual armor values, that would be really nice. Because the warm doublet is only good for cold resistance. It has one armor. It's not good for actually surviving the Divine Beast. Wait, do we have, like, any money? I haven't been paying attention. It's fine. We've been hitting a lot of rocks. I'm sure we can sell some stuff. All right, Teva. Just hold on, buddy. I'll be right back. All right. Nope. It's up a little. The problem with the Rito Village line uh, setup is because it's so vertical. Like, the map will be like, you're right on top of the clothing Oh, the stuff. map is I'm like, useless no, in Rito Village. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, right, because the shrine starts you, like, halfway up. Ugh. Everything's a goddamn ordeal in this family. Floating, 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 floating. No, that's that's beds. Useless. Yes! Alright, what do we got? Ooh. Actually. Pretty close. Okay. Hey, hey. Buy my shit. <laughs> okay. Fantastic. Let's see. Oh, right, we still have, like, five million luminous stones. Get out of here! Oh, yeah, sell them. Get out of here! <laughs> Just drop a whole bunch of rocks in this bird's store and take all his shit. <laughs> okay, I think we're good for now. Let's see. Uh, we can get the... 
Let's look at the address. And we can maybe, real quick, bounce over to a great fairy, see if we can get it upgraded. Um, because that would be really nice, uh, having a, an actually halfway decent armor set up. And the guns, obviously. Gotta invite everybody to the gun show. Alright, so we're just gonna do a little bit of bouncing around. Where's a, where's a great fairy? Um, let's just do the one in Kakariko. That's the one I actually know where it is. Uh, theoretically. Theoretically, where's There's that? also the, um, the one by Terrytown. Ooh. True. Although, if we're just warping, it's not more convenient to do that one yeah. than this one. Yeah, fair enough. And then we're gonna go fuck up that bird! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we should try and set a donation goal. I'm not sure what to do, though, because we're we're already doing the one from last time. Yeah, um, so I think the easiest way to set a clear goal that won't, like, go in Sano mode on taking a whole bunch of time um, and also not having us do a bunch of, like, micro goals every thousand because those stack up on us pretty quickly. Yeah. And, and also, also appeasing the half of chat who thinks that uh, the vote from last week was rigged. Um, <laughs> perhaps after we finish the Meadow, we uh, do a bunch of shrines and get the Master Sword. Ooh, I do like that idea. Oh. You can do the glitch to get the Master Sword, oh, but that is a little trickier. Categorically, no speed running. <laughs> yeah, so we'll do some shrines. We're gonna do some shrines. Excuse me. Excuse me. Maybe that's a five thousand dollar donation goal. Yeah, at more, yeah, I think five thousand is good. Yeah. Well, it maybe drop it later, but let's let's set it at five. Yeah. Do you want me to do mm. heads or clothing? Yes, please. Pants, drop them. Uh, oh God. <laughs> Ooh, we can upgrade the barbarian armor because we kill the Lionel. I can actually upgrade some of the barbarian armor. Ah. Mmm. Do your thing, lady. <sighs> yes, good. Stop, stop telling me about set bonuses! Why do they always tell me about set bonuses? Yes, please. Ah, uh, okay, so that's all we could get it up to. Ah, uh, okay. Well, we can do the barbarian armor just a little bit. Because the convenient thing about the barbarian armor is it is also a guns out armor set. So, you know, <laughs> it's allowed. <laughs> it's canon. It's canon. Good. All right, one more. One more. One more. All right, let's see. What do I need for the... What the... Uh... Oh, okay, we need to kill more Lionels for that one. That's okay. Yeah. Mm. All right, get out of here. Um, huh, let's see. Honestly, killing more Lionels would probably just be a good idea in general. Uh because that way I could get better at it, because I generally just avoid them, because they're scary. We um, can go around the, uh, the north edge of Elden and kill the, like, seven Lynels we ran past I last guess stream. I we could do that. <laughs> uh, okay. Maybe we should just let that kind of organically happen. All right. Whew. Let's go. I'm gonna kill that bird! Let me just grab my... I placed my tea, oh shit, in a place where I can't easily get it, which was unwise of me. Okay, just put it over here, next to my sandwich. And now we're good. See, I think stop whining about everything. Everything's fine. <laughs> Adventure! Okay. This is gonna be fun. I'm excited to uh, get into a Divine Beast in yeah. this playthrough. Yeah. We've been stalwartly avoiding Sidon and the rest of the region. <laughs> <laughs> or the, the, uh, the Zora, just because I didn't wanna. All right, gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme. Wow, so cool. Aw, oh, shame, hold on. Uh, excuse me, bud. <laughs> Uh, let's, uh, hmm. 
Mm. Yeah, Lionel Bow is definitely the weakest one we have right now. May as well. Yeah, let's go. Sweet. All right, bud. Let's go fuck up this bird. We need to hit them with bomb arrows. These are precious commodities, so don't expect me to do this again, but take these bomb arrows. Oh, thanks, bud. Also, it'll be cold up there. Don't want to prepare a warm meal or bring some warm clothes. Oh, I'm fine. <laughs> Bro, I'm from the north. It's great. <laughs> Why are you doing this? Why risk your life to bring down Bomb Meadow? To rescue Zelda, of course. Zelda. That's the name of the Princess Rivali, served 100 years ago at Hyrule Castle. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> not to brag or anything, but, like, I'm kind of her best friend. <laughs> <laughs> right. Get on. Excuse me? Oh, okay. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> yeah! It's happening! We're doing it! We're not getting up to that divine beast on our own. We've got another bird friend. <laughs> we'll do it for us. Wow, Rivali, Cyan, this guy's much cooler in. than you. They kill the bird. You gotta kill that bird. Hi, Cyan. It's showtime. Even I feel like I'm gonna freeze up here. Oh, really? I barely even noticed the cold. <laughs> it's divine, it's divine. It has its barrier up again. What a pain. What's wrong, Link? Too scared to talk? Hey, buddy. <laughs> Let's go over the plan. See those cannons? I'll draw their fire. While I'm doing that, use your bomb arrows to destroy the cannons. Got it so far? Oh no, maybe you should go over this one more time. <laughs> Don't bother aiming for anything covered by things, but it's impenetrable. Don't get close enough to touch it. And finally, I know I've said this a few times already, but don't forget your cold protection. Uh, <laughs> quit subtweeting, Teba. I'm fucking fine. Let's go. I've got warm pants. I don't need a shirt. <laughs> it's up to you. All right, all right. We gotta, we gotta have the correct arrows equipped. Oh, it automatically did that. How generous. Um. Yeah. All right, we're good. Good, Teba. It's fine. It's the curve that I always mess up. I think I just need to get. Oh, okay, good. Got that one. I'm sure, just need to get level with it and close to it, or to be right above it. Yeah, we're good. It's targeting us. Thanks, Teba. I noticed. Now, given that you're the one who's supposed to be drawing its fire, uh, it seems to be aiming at me an awful lot. <laughs> it's targeting us. <laughs> it was you. like, I'll draw its fire by flying way over here. <laughs> Oop, I see. It doesn't want me doing it from that angle. Fine. Uh oh. We're in hot. That work? No. Neither of those worked. paragliding around. Yeah, just All like giant fucking Vivaldi's just... spring symphony just blasting it as he Yeah. Is. Dang it. I need a sniper bow for this. That's what I need. There we go. Oh, I'm gonna get some strongly worded YouTube comments about this. I can just feel it. <laughs> Teva, my man, I believe it is your job to... You know what, it's fine. These are the slow beams. Out of the way! <laughs> Bro, I am busy! Speaking of out of the way, uh, Teba? <laughs> it's fine. Just gonna get all up close and personal with it. There we go. Sheesh! I 
technically the Sidon fight makes sense because he's like ferrying you around by swimming, but Tifa is almost fully useless in this fight. Yeah, I don't think I've ever actually seen Divine Beast Vomito target Tifa instead of us. Well done, Link. Thanks, buddy. That thing is history. You said it. Let's go fuck up those dinosaurs. Wow, so pretty, so majestic and beautiful. Oh man, <laughs> it's so cool. You good, bro? <laughs> he somehow managed to get shot while I was getting exclusively aimed at. <laughs> yeah. God dang it, Teva. News, Link. Looks like I got hit pretty good back there. I think, I think I need to get back to the flight range. All right, bud. See you later. I just hope that I can make it back. He's like every soccer player who gets, like, <laughs> gently nudged and then just starts rolling on the floor in pain. Like, aww, aww, wings up. All right, buddy. Have a good one. See you later. Put some ice on that. Bye! Like someone sneezes and then the fucking thumbs up. <laughs> I love like it. Like someone sneezes on him and then he's just like, ah, my shoulder shattered ah, into a million tiny pieces. Uh. Ow, oof, ow, my bones. <laughs> I'm a bird, they're not very strong, you know how this is. <laughs> uh, if only I could fly like a bird. Nah, I'm just a bird, it's not all it's cracked up to be. Whoop. So now we can come back here whenever we need to, if we have to leave the Divine Beast early. Uh, well now, I've seen that face before. <gasps> Who's that? I had a feeling you would show up eventually. <laughs> No one useful. Wait a hundred years is a bit indulgent. But you're lucky I went to you before me, Fun. Let's be real. You're control of Meadow away from Ganon, correct? If so, then the first thing you'll want to do is find yourself a map. Uh-huh. Thanks, man. Your tooltips are very much appreciated. That guidance stone has the information for the layout of this divine beast. Can you make it there? Who are you again? Alrighty! Uh-oh, there's... Oh, 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 hold on. <laughs> Wrong arrows, excuse me. Again. Gotcha! <laughs> Alright, he's fine. Yeah, get out of here, you. Okay. Now we just gotta switch our way over to the map. Find the map. Oop, easy. 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 Okay. Phew. Oh, excuse me. What? Oh, buddy. Alright, we're fine. GG easy. Oh, what a pushover this is. Like, you hear that, Rivali? <laughs> I'm flying through this. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't even have wings! I... Okay. Anyway. <clears throat> Let's get the map. <laughs> yeah! That's a big bird! All right, let's go. You'll need to look closely at your map of the divine. Beast. Thank you, Rivali. <laughs> your input is appreciated. Are marked by those glowing I think they they do a good job of balancing. Like Link does not have like a like a Navi or a Fee sidekick to just constantly uh, tooltip to him. But whenever he's in the Divine Beasts, the uh, champion serves that role. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, let's see where we gotta go. Link is like, wings are overrated when you have these guns. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. All right, hold on. There's got to be an eyeball around here somewhere. Oh. Well, well. Eh, it's fine. All right. Let's go out this way. Let's see what we got. Ah, yes, okay. I think of uh, 
some ravioli puns, because Cyan was like, Blue, you need to make more ravioli puns, but I don't... <laughs> I don't have any ravioli puns right now. Oh, GG easy. Get out of here. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> that was fun. All right, let's see. What terminals can we get on this side? Did I already miss one? No. Cool. It's right here. Come here, you. I guess they don't there are four terminals remaining. Still a ways to go. Thanks for volley. <laughs> I truly treasure your input. Okay, let's see. Oh, this one's a bit annoying, as I recall. Um. Oh, oh excuse me, sir! Ravioli got sauced. I don't know, does that mean drunk? Uh, the slang always gets away from me. <laughs> uh, kids these days. <laughs> Alright, come here, you. What do we got? Oh, sick! How is it still barfing out bad guys? He probably just fired off yeah. one last no, it's one. Not lunchtime yet. Not quite yet. Um, no lunch for you. Jail for mother. Okay, let's see. All right, what's over here? Oh, I should probably untilt it. This is needlessly complicated. There we go. Oh, hello. Patch of nasty with an eyeball in it. Excuse me. Back in the middle again. Ugh! This bird is so complicated. Okay, let's see. Uh. Hold on. Check the map. Oh, okay, so there's a terminal right up there. Alright. We you are know? already at 1.2,000, which is very impressive. Oh, dang. Uh, so I think everybody's contributed so far. Um, as you can see in the sidebar, we're raising money for uh, earthquake relief via uh, Direct Relief, a big multinational charity organization uh, who's helping in um, Turkey and Syria to provide uh, medical aid and other emergency assistance to the uh, tens, if not hundreds of thousands of people who have been, uh, yeah, no, hundreds of thousands of people who have been uh, displaced um, or uh, injured or worse uh, by the uh, recent earthquake earlier in the month. Yeah. So anything you can give is appreciated, whether it's one dollar or five or a hundred or a thousand. Um, it it will go to helping people who really need it. Yeah. So thank you all so much for contributing to a worthy cause. Normally we have little like. At this number, we'll do this dumb thing uh, challenges. But because we are currently doing a dumb challenge from uh, the last time I did that, uh, I haven't been able to think of anything we can sort of do to split the difference. Uh, I got it. Can offer a Clio picture um, at some point, but let's let's keep our our current goal of of getting the master sword at five thousand. Yes. Yes. Uh, which means we're gonna need to grind some shrines. Uh, oh wait, I remember how this one's supposed to work. Um, huh. There's still a. Okay, yeah. There's still a. What is? Seriously? Okay, jeez. Um. Oh, ah. <laughs> okay. We're just gonna do that thing we did last time, where we tilt the thing and we get the thing back. It's, it's fucking. It's fine. Fine. Ah, uh, curse you, Ganon. Volley's like, ah, not so easy, is it? Your machinations <laughs> are truly evil. Hold on, that might hit us. Come on, ah, for crying out loud! You are so mean, you know that? <laughs> I 
hope the Rito Village people aren't panicking too much for this. <laughs> Can't be super fun. Bird's just diving and flying around. Just zipping tilting. around, shrieking yeah. every couple seconds. It's like, ah, oh, that's um, it's probably okay. It's like, oh no, is Teb up there? And Teb is like, hey man, that's not my problem anymore, okay? <laughs> I'm wounded, uh, so... <laughs> Teba's got like seven ice packs and yeah. he's just like smoking a cigar. <laughs> he's got his leg all the way up, just like, ow, 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 stop, stop, stop. <laughs> oh, hold on. Oh. It. I did it wrong. Everything is annoying forever. Wait, did I do it right? No, I did it wrong. Okay, great. Uh... Whoops. Uh... Alright, we're fine. Nobody panic. Everything's chill. <laughs> also, cheese this um, terminal by doing a um, uh, like a stasis uh hit onto the battering ram oh, and whack it into the button. That is true, but yeah, we're, we're, we're just gonna we're just gonna do this as intended. Um. Alright, come on, buddy. 1.5! Yo! 1.5! Hey-o! Hey, everybody. Yeah! Yeah! Ah, oh, you see in this Rivali? That's how the real chosen one does this. <laughs> Just a yoink. There are three terminals remaining. Keep going. <laughs> Thanks, bud. Okay, let's see. They're all the other way. Correct? Yes, okay. Ah, oh, easy to lose your bearings in a place like this. Oh, oh that's where the map was. That's right. Okay. That's uh, probably nothing to worry about. Okay, let's see. There's, uh, I think there's a few ways to do this. Um, but now let's just survey the terrain a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a bad idea. Oh well. Flings <sighs> you off the edge of the bird. <laughs> Honestly, if Bob Meadow did a single barrel roll, I'd be fucked. Oh, thank goodness Ganon is uncreative and bad at his job. Alright, let's see. Just gotta, just gotta switch around. Huh. Alright. We're gonna go back down, see if we can find the eyeball for that one mouth thingy blocking the way to the stuff. You know how it is. I really respect the Zelda franchise's dedication to making everything be like an eyeball. <laughs> yeah. Alright, that's the way we came in. Okay. Oh, one thing I think we can do now. Uh... Nope! Yeah! Okay, Link! <laughs> Come on, man! <laughs> Whoops, excuse me. Sir. Ooh, range on this thing's pretty good. Alright, take three. <laughs> I think if we might be we might be able to glide over it, it'd be okay.
Yeah. Ah. Oh, ah. Oh, eat it. Okay. Great. Success. are always probably the most well, I don't know. The Divine Beast challenges are pretty cool. Uh, I think that the the sort of triple whammy of having to figure out how to get to them in the first place, uh, and then the sort of mini-game of, like, getting through whatever defenses it has, uh, and then the navigating around, getting the terminals, and then the Blight fight, adds up to a, a suitably good dungeon. Um, there is a little bit of, like, Parts of the dungeon can just feel a little bit tedious sometimes. Uh, yeah, the inside of the Vine Beasts are unfortunately the weakest part. <laughs> Two terminals remaining. You're almost there. <laughs> Don't even sound so surprised, Ravali. <laughs> okay, let's see. Where are... Where are the... Okay. Oh, okay, there's like a level above us that we can't reach from this room, it looks like? Okay, cool. Um, we're just gonna tilt the bird. Tilt the bird! Bird tilt. Okay. I think it's because most other... <laughs> like, you okay? Your knees are doing a little something-something. Uh, I think it's because most <laughs> other parts of the game... <laughs> wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Uh, let you kind of do things in any order. And, like, you can get the terminals in any order. But there is still a degree to which it feels like, oh, I'm, I'm definitely doing this wrong, or, like, inefficiently, or there's a, there's a right way to do this and I don't know what it is. And that's just not a great feeling. Um, when you're futzing with, like, the level geometry and moving around while the beast is moving, even though there are many places where that is the intended way to solve the puzzle, it feels a little cheating. Yeah. Because getting around the space and, like, bypassing the puzzle feels wrong. Even if that's what you're supposed to do, it feels like you're moving on something while it's moving. All the conventions of game design that we have are, like, the thing moves, you wait for it to finish moving, and then you move. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it just feels a little bit wrong. Uh... Whoops. Oh, right. Okay. Okay. I think I see how you might be supposed to do this. Um. Eh. Alright, let's see. <sighs> I swear this hasn't been this much of a pain before, but... <gasps> Rivali's like, oh, not so easy. <laughs> well, he, he, what's his excuse? He can friggin' fly. <laughs> exactly. I have to do all this bird tit bird tilt bullshit. Wow, okay. <laughs> there we go. Sheesh. What do we got? Ah, sweet. Robbie's gonna love that. Alright. Back to business. Okay. Oh yeah! Okay. Tilt back to normal. Let's see what we got. Where's the eyeball for that thing? Ah, there you are. Whoops, excuse me. You good up there, bro? Alright, it's fine. Squat. Okay. We're in the home stretch, buds. It's all coming together. Some terrain. Can we can we just kinda huh? No, we cannot. That's okay. We'll just do this. this do? Ah. Intriguing. Nope. Come on. Come on. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, sorry. Hold on. Forgot the mechanic of this dungeon again. You know how I do. Yeah. 
Okay. 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 And the wind takes it, and we. Hey -ah! Yeah. And now we just, uh. Turn that back, and then. Get it so we can magnesis it. And Yeah! Perfect. Okay, let me in. Alright. Then we just gotta figure out how to get on top of that other terminal. And then we should be fine! We, we, I'm sure we'll just be able to regain control just of the Divine Beast. one terminal remaining. <laughs> then we just kill the wimpiest Blight Ganon and we're good. And we're on it. Yeah, yeah. I do remember it being a little bit annoying the last time I fought it, but, you know. Alright, let's... Oh, right. Uh... Friggin' drama queen, it's fine. Okay, perfect. Yeah, and then I think we just tilt that back up, and just fly it down. <laughs> Boink! Unless there's, like, a box or something. Child's play. Okay, let me in. Yeah. That was the last terminal. Now you just need to start the main control unit. I want you to take a good look at your map. There should be a new glowing point on there. Well, flap to well. it. Oh, for crying out. <sighs> Very nice of Ravali to not say, yeah, start the main control unit, by the way, uh, <laughs> watch out. <laughs> nah, he's just like, he's fucking fine, he'll figure it out. Now you just need to do this super easy thing. Wink. Wink. <laughs> and... Boy, that looks fine and normal. All right, everybody, let's do this. What? Curse your sudden but inevitable betrayal. <laughs> Ravali's like, die, 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 die. I mean, <laughs> uh, you, you can do it, Link. <laughs> I believe in you, chosen one. Everything's gonna be, get it, yeah! Oh, fuck, I, I mean, uh, huh. whoops. <laughs> Zone when it plays dirty. Good luck, bitch. Me years ago, <laughs> but only because I was winging it. Oh, I can't believe I'm How long did it take you to think that one up? You must avenge me, Link. <laughs> yeah, sure. Excuse, Excuse me. Excuse off. me. Watch yourself. Oh yeah, take a take a picture of it. Oh Otherwise shit, that's right. <laughs> oh fuck, you're so right. Yeah! <laughs> like a fucking Bigfoot photo. Alright, back to the actual fight. Ravali's like, you must avenge me! Like, what the fuck are you doing? Where are you going, bitch? Where are you going? Where are you going? Put the camera away and kill bird! <laughs> hey! 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 I hit you in the eyeball! That's supposed to do something! You're cheating! 
I guess Rivali did warn me that he fights dirty. Ah, whatever. Whoops. Alright, like, like, for fuck's sake. Okay. Alright, next time, don't run out of stamina. We need to be able to run up and hit him. There you going, bitch? Oh, whoops. Oh, hold on. Let me swap to a bow that isn't damaged. Pull up the big guns. Right, bitch. There he is. Uh oh. That looks bad. Whoops. <laughs> this is the little bounce. Whoop. Link, 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 link. Okay. We're fine. Everything's cool. Whoops. <laughs> Second phase, let's go. Oh yeah, these things are annoying. I never quite figured out how you're supposed to deal with them, so I think we're just gonna... Hey. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> All right, it's fine. We got hit by a tornado a little bit. That's cool. Here you go, bitch. Aha, found him. Come on, reform. And, uh, oh. oh, whoops. Okay, I think we killed him. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> okay, cool. Man. That bow is really good. Sad little buddy. Hey, we just got this place cleaned up. Yeah, gross. Yeah. Well, at least he's self cleaning. You see that, Rivali? What was that? A minute? <laughs> Two minutes? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sick. And we didn't even need to do shrines for this one. <laughs> you got Rivali's heart. I mean a heart container. <laughs> <laughs> gimme, 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 gimme. Slorp. Yeah! How many are we at now? Twelve, looks like? Alright. Well, that was fun. Anyway. We only need thirteen to get the sword. I think we only need one more. And we already have yeah. two sporbs, so we can just get a... Do you still... Oh, yeah, so... Okay. Yes, let's do so, it. chat, get us to five and we'll get that sword. Yeah. If you feel like it was rigged last time then make your voice heard by making us get the sword anyway. <laughs> so this is how democracy dies. <laughs> well, I'll be plucked. <laughs> you defeated him, eh? With fundraising. <laughs> hey! Who would have thought? Well, I'll be plucked. Oh my god. <laughs> Rivali! <laughs> well done. Oh. I suppose I should thank you now that my spirit is free. This returns Meadow back to its rightful owner. I'm not mad that you killed him in two minutes. Why Don't would I be mad? Just for <laughs> Everything's fine. Job. I do suppose you've proven your value as a warrior. A warrior worthy of my unique ability. The sacred skill that I have dubbed Ravali's Gale. Ravali, I think you mean your job. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, get in that Dragon Ball yell, buddy. Whoop, <laughs> he just eats his power at us. Uh, what? Thanks! <laughs> Just fucking launches us off the Divine Beast. Have fun sealing the darkness! <laughs> it's now time to move on and start making preparations for Meadow Strike on Ganon. But only if you think you'll still need my help while you're fighting inside Hyrule Castle. Uh, if the Windblade is indicative of how bad Calamity Ganon's gonna be, I think I'm good. Or, never mind, just go. Oh. <laughs> Your job is far from finished, you know. I'm 
sparkling. What is the it? princess? Has been waiting an awful long time. Oh, I've been asleep because I was dead. It's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we're about to see my favorite bit of music from the game. Love this music. Oh, so Nato's sights are now set. You'll have a precise bead on Ganon from this vantage point, and when the time is right, give him everything you've got. Now we wait for that perfect moment. Nedo, we've been artfully patient for the last 100 years. Artfully patient? I doubt you'll suffer a feather over a few more moments. Eh. After all these years, I simply must admit the truth. Mm -hmm. the Even truth. without the power of flight, Link made his way to this divine beast and accomplished something that even I could not. Maybe the true power was friendship. Yes, I was wrong about how lucky he would be. <laughs> He's such I an asshole. Luck holds out, Link, for everyone's sake. All right. Good talk, Rivali. You have fun over here. <laughs> Rivali's such an asshole. He's such an <laughs> asshole. Guess I was wrong about how lucky he was. Anyway, get dunked on. <laughs> She's like, Rivali. <laughs> Boink. L plus ratio bottom text. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a blusterous power born from the spirit of the champion of Ali. Creates an upward draft that carries you into the sky. Activate by yeah, bluster is the right word. <laughs> yeah, blusterous power. Yeah. All right, let's see. What do we got to do? Uh, While well, you're doing that, it is noon, so I'm going to go feed Cleo. Ah, yes. Sounds Back good. Uh, there is the map objective I needed. Hello, sir. Oh. You've done it, and you survived at that. Yeah, thanks, bud. <laughs> oh, this guy's so nice. Yeah, what? The Hylian Champion? Oh, the sword that seals the darkness. Man, I could go and get that, you know, if we hit 5k. Um. <clears throat> yeah, Divine Beast Bell Meadow complete! We did it! In, like, just less than an hour! <laughs> wow, that worked really well. Oh. Sorry, Rivali. Uh, my inventory's full and your bow's actually worse than my... No, I'm just kidding. Of course we're gonna take it. That'd be rude otherwise. Well, we can get rid of the, the busted bow. Sorry for littering in your house. Sweet. Okay. Well, that was fun. We defeated Divine Beast Von Meadow. And now it's posted up on top of this rock. Just standing there menacingly. Let's see if we can get a good view of it. Oh yeah, there he is. Just chilling. Majestic. Okay, let's see. <sighs> well, we're sitting at 1.7k. That's nice. Um, but that doesn't mean we need to go get the Master Sword yet. So... 
We're gonna do something I wanted to do before. Um, we have the full barbarian set now. We have Hateno Village. And Hateno Village has the shop where you can dye clothes. So I wanna see what happens if we take the full barbarian set and dye it red. And then we can go and do shrines and build up our hearts and prepare to get the Master Sword and all that stuff. Or, you know, go rescue the, the Zora, finally do the Sidon thing. Oh, yeah, and because we uh, beat Vometo, now there's a little mini Vometo on our save screen. Or, our, I guess, the loading screen. Oh, right, we need wood for our house! We can also do that. Uh, anyway... Where's the, where's the die shot? There's the die shot. Hello! Whoops. I think I came at this from a weird angle. Hello? Hello! Hello. <laughs> How do you do? <laughs> yes, die. Alright. Let's do this. Uh -huh. Change the... Gotta, gotta swap out the drip. It's a good look, right? Alright. We're gonna do... Ooh. Oh! Oh! Hmm. <laughs> Dying this red produces a, a, a different effect than I intended. We'll do crimson. Crimson looks cool. Sure. What? No! Perfect. We're doing some peps, baby. Uh, so it doesn't change the pattern, it just changes the color. That's okay. <laughs> Every time, he's surprised. <laughs> Whoops! Oh, baby. Ganon, watch the fuck out! <laughs> How is it? <laughs> Do you find this palatable? Yeah, we're good. Alright, cool. Well, that's my, uh, my indulgence is done. All right. Oh, you're styling now. Right? Look at this. Also, <laughs> it's got, got like a it's got like a wig, and now the wig is red on red, which is pretty cool. Anyway, we're looking pretty styling. Did we determine that the barbarian armor is uh, Ganon worshippers because that's the hair? Well, there's a Zeltic Ganon theory hair. about that. Uh, yeah. It's it's hard to say. It seems like the uh, the Zonai might have like worshipped power and and thought it was super cool but uh it's it's a little bit hard to tell if they were like that means we like the guy that keeps trying to take over the world um let's see just regular i gotta say i do prefer the climbing gear look but if we need gear. to ever deal a lot of damage now we can do it and be styling at the same time yep wait what was that to take i could take something Oh, probably a bug. Never mind. Okay. So what we're yeah. going to do is we're going to go bomb a bunch of those trees and get wood for our house. <laughs> we do need to find a couple more shrines. Uh-oh. Hold on. I sense travelers in peril. What ho, adventurers? Oh, whoops. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. All right, is that it? Did we win? Hello, travelers. <laughs> Do you want this? Oh, heck yeah. I think that's the best <sighs> gift I've ever gotten. All right. All right, cool. Now let's go bomb some trees. <laughs> Lady, you're gonna want to get out of here. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, in this forest. I would have just started raining down bombs if they hadn't gone like, oh no, help! So, uh... uh nope. Okay. Ooh. 
Oh, what a oh. lovely, serene what board. What's screaming about? What's going on? They were screaming about something. Oh, hold on. I forgot there's other bad guys in these woods. Wow, these guys go down easy. Now, anyway. Yeah, there she goes. She gets post-lunch zoomies sometimes. <laughs> in combat? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Anyway, back to my work. Yeah! It's fine. I think the forest reset on Blood Moons, too, so we're good. Oh, boy. But yeah, so if the uh, goal is to get the... How much do I need, actually? How much wood do I have? Ten. Okay, yeah, we just need 20 more bundles. We're fine. Um... But yeah, if the goal is to reset or get the Master Sword uh, at 5k, which I think is doable, uh, we just need to get two more shrines to work up to a heart container. And you can do whatever you want until we uh, hit the goal, because then you've got all the hearts to just go get the sword. Exactly, yeah. So we're, uh, we're currently going to pursue the uh, getting our house back thing for one key reason. Uh, it gives us a place to put weapons, which means I don't need to waste an inventory slot carrying around things like the champion weapons that I don't want to use, but also, like, don't want to just drop and, you know, abandon. Because that feels kind of wrong. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Fellas, don't you know this is my neighborhood? Sir! Alright, and... Whoops. Yeet! Alright, good. All done. Anyway. Ah, so peaceful. So beautiful. So majestic. We can also see if we can update, uh, upgrade our runes, because we have accumulated some guardian parts. Uh, we might have enough for the stamina upgrade. I think that one's pretty easy. Yep. Chad, have any suggestions? Stamina rune? Oh, sorry, no, the, the stasis. Stasis? It's a an yeah, STA okay. sound. You know how I work. Yeah, no, no, I know. I was like, wait, <laughs> is there a mechanic that I didn't know about? That would be very funny. But no, sadly, I am just a dingus. Alright, that, and... Give me, give me. Anyway. Does chat have any fun ideas for things we could do in the meantime before they, they get us up to 5k? Yep. I suppose we could always just emergent gameplay our way through. We can do some emergent gameplay. We can, uh... can do oh. some... People are saying upgrade your bombs. Oh, yeah, we can look into that. <laughs> yeah. 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 All right, laters. Right, watch out, little buddy. <laughs> nah, he's fine. Uh, so majestic. I really hope we still have something like the bombs in... Tears of the Kingdom. Because I know... Yeah, I hope too. I mean, we're not getting the Sheikah Slate, because obviously the Sheikah Slate is Zelda's. She gets the Sheikah Slate, but, you know. Maybe our fucked up arm. I've seen a lot of killing Lynels oh, and God's Eventide sake. Island. Yeah. I don't think we should do Eventide Island. It's really hard without Urbosa's Fury. Oh, that's true. But, you know, <laughs> everything has a price. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, we are... Uh, Alright, just eight more. All good. Uh, People are telling us to go hang out with either Sidon or Urbosa. Mm. We're not going to do Thunderblight until we have the Master Sword. I made that promise uh, last time. I made that promise Marry ago. Sidon, unfortunately. That's not a mechanic. Sadly, we can't do that side quest. Because <laughs> it's not... Yeah. It's unbeatable. No, just kidding. Anyway. 
We could go and start the Valruta quest line. We've been sort of just dodging Zora non-stop because I didn't want to do it yet. Um, I find Water Blight the most annoying to fight. It might just be me. But... Oh. Sorry, just bombing helpless wildlife instead of the trees I was trying to do, but that's on me. We can do Terrytown. We could start Terrytown uh, once we get our. Homes. Yeah. Yeah. Terrytown is a, a mondo pain without a walkthrough, I gotta say. Because it kind of is like you either gotta really be paying attention or you gotta be talking to every single NPC looking for the exact right one. And the, like, the ones that you need for Terrytown are never where you think they're gonna be because they're always like kind of on the outskirts. And because I don't tend to go on the roads very much, I usually don't run into them. So, anyway, but we can certainly start it. I think it kind of starts itself when we're not paying attention. Um, we have to um, get the first bundles of wood for our house, and then we go yep. to Terry Town. And we just did. Yeah. We've reached there. Nice. All right. Better watch out, Bolson. I'm coming for you. Is it Bolson? I think it's Bolson. While we're, while we're sprinting our way back up. Make our way down. Hmm. Oh, we did hit 2k, though. That's nice. Ooh. Oh, we never did the springs. The what? The springs of Courage, Wisdom, oh! and Power. Yeah, well, we still need Dinral's scale. Uh, and getting Back Dinral me, is kind of a pain. Uh... Because it, that's that's one of those emergent gameplay things. Um, you can skulk around by the volcano and we'll probably see him. Probably, yeah. And we, we found... Okay, so we found the spring of... Uh, power. That's the one where we need Dinral Scale. Uh, we did the spring of Wisdom, because that's the one with the Lanayru side quest. Uh, or the, the, the Nadra thing. Mm. Hey! I'll pay your price. Okie doo. Um, <laughs> good faith wood? <laughs> okay, Bolson. <gasps> Once you've got the money together, come grab me. That's right, we need a fuck ton more rupees. Okay. Great. <sighs> um, but I don't think we ever found the Spring of Courage in Farron, I guess. We could also do a little memory hunting. Don't worry, this. Um... We go to memory hunting, yeah. Yeah, let's um, let's see if let, let's just bounce around the stables a little bit and see if the Congos at any of them because that's an indicator that we haven't gotten the memory in that area. Yeah, just yeah a little so the Spring of there. Courage is just east of Lake Hylia. Mm. Um, it's between Lake Hylia and the Dueling Peaks, right. so we have shrines close to it we do we don't have the scale we need for it still because we kind of just need to wait yeah. for the dragons to spawn for that oh there's a rock on top of that stable for sure all right we seeing any pecongo doesn't look like it uh oh hello beetle my beloved today's customer appreciation day what? Beetle! Where did you get this? <laughs> oh, you're so nice. Oh, Robbie gave it to him. Oh, thanks, Beetle. I know Robbie. He made me take my pants off. Anyway. <laughs> Beetle's like, oh, you too? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you can't possibly be the same Beetle I knew. Quick, <laughs> take off your pants. All right. Oh. Let's see, what have we got? We need 3,000 rupees. Let's get rid of some amber. We don't need this for a while. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna take a while. Uh, yeah, we don't really, we haven't really accumulated anything more, and like monster parts aren't that good for. And we should give these to Robbie, so. All right. I guess, do you have anything interesting? Nah. Okay, thanks, Beetle. Pleasure doing business. Alright, laters. Let's see. 
Oh. Just screaming in the background. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh. Blood Moon? You don't know it? Uh, no, I know it. That's inexcusable. Whoa. Y yes. Uh huh. Uh huh. What if I told you that? Uh, it's not mysterious, it's because my perennial nemesis, uh, keeps farting out new bad guys for me to deal with. <laughs> like, oh yeah, that's, that's my fault, because I didn't kill a guy hard enough. So, well, I can, well <laughs> more like, I killed him so hard, uh, like 10,000 plus years ago, that he got impressed and decided to make it my problem forever. So, that's on me, kind of. Hey, buddy. Oh, no, he's too buried, can't get any bits. <laughs> Hmm. Let's see if we can just harvest some guardian parts. Always fun. Oh, there's a chest down there. Oh, no. Ah, oh, sick. Always fun. I wonder what this area is. Is it anything on the map? Ah, Ash Swamp. That sounds nice. Um. Anyway, uh, well, there's no Picongo here, so there's no memory for us to get. But we can always just grab a few. Oh, hello. That looks like a secret. Up, 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 up. And what are you? Yep. Ah, sick. I was half expecting it to be like an alive guardian. <laughs> Find where the hell Hestu is hiding. Oh, it's not that good anyway, so. He should be on the road just out of Kakariko. No, he moved because we already talked to him twice. Oh, then he, um. Then he should be in Korok Forest. No, he. Sometimes he goes to one of a few stables first, and oh, then he turns what? up in Korok Forest. It's weird. Oh, jeez. Yeah. You got any bits? Nope, no bits. Okay. Well, now that we're a little bit overpowered, uh, should we go kill that Bacoblin camp? Could be fun. Yeah, why not? Let's do it. <laughs> Builds character. Getting some wetland stable, which is near the Lost Woods. <laughs> go check out. <laughs> Oh, double kill. Hello, fellas. Yep. Yep. Miss Scooby, Miss Scooby. Neat. Whoa, critical hit. <laughs> After much consideration by the Coblins on how to improve the Boko Bat, they simply attached sharp spikes to it. <laughs> God. Oh, our edge of duality is a little bit busted. Nah, we'll just throw it at somebody later. <laughs> oh god, I'm sorry, bud. The power scaling in this game goes a little bit quickly. Nothing wrong with it. It's just, you start off so weak and helpless, kind of, and then pretty quickly, you're sort of a force of nature again. Like, things can still kick your ass, Lionel's keep you humble, but like, you know. You know. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, it's not funny. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right, as a heads up, I'm gonna break for lunch and try to get back on my uh, my work bullshit uh, at the end of the hour. Sounds like a plan. You got me for another 40 minutes. Hell yeah. Well, is there anything Not that I've been tremendously useful. No, uh, I'm this trying to is figure fun. out how to... Nah, 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 we're having a good time, but uh, yeah. I am chat for, for context. I'm in the process of 
organizing what will be the next detail diatribe yes. um, and trying to figure out how to condense a lot of information into an order that makes sense. Um, and that's tricky sometimes, so. Yeah. Well, is there anything you want us to do in this game uh, for the next 40 minutes? Oh, gosh. Um, that's a good question. Yeah. Farron. Farron. That's check a out? fun region. It is, yeah. Let's see, how far are we? Oh, it's a bit of a hike. Uh, let's see. Oh, is it fully in the wrong direction? No, no. Uh, we're just a little bit ways over, but we can go to Lake Tower and explore around for sure. Um, I'm just going to uh, finish, I guess, killing some of these bokos and uh, grabbing guardian parts, and then we'll, we'll teleport over and start taking a look around. <laughs> a little head tilt. So there's like an impromptu soldier's, uh, whoops, <laughs> excuse me. Um, whoops. Huh. But yeah, this is kind of just like an impromptu little, looks like a soldier's graveyard from all the uh, swords stuck in the ground and all the guard. Oh, excuse me. I think the last memory is here. Uh, it's not far, but uh, we can't get it right now. Ow. No, we can't get it right here. But it's like on the other side of that lake is where Zelda like awoke her power. Yes. Um, we're, we're in roughly the area, but what I love about it is that just, you can tell. So Hateno is over there. This is Fort Hateno, the, that sort of wall. And you can see how many guardians were here. But none of them are active. I think there might be one somewhere. But for the most part, they're all inert. But it's pretty clear that some shit went down here. Just, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just a little alarming. Um, is that a treasure chest? Oh, yeah, there it is. Thought so. Whoop. Oh, sweet. That's cool. I forgot the Traveler's Claymore. I mean, this thing is weak, but, like, who cares? It looks rad. Nope. Let me get it. But, yeah, this, um... Some bad stuff happened here. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. Farron Grasslands. Yeah. Lake Tower, and then go south. Whoop. Sitting at 2.2k, that's pretty good. And I know there's some shrines in the Farron Woods that we can do to get our last couple of sporbs. You can kind of tell which areas of the map we've just gotten the towers for and then haven't explored because we, <laughs> we haven't marked off any shrines. Completely, yeah, I went yeah. through. Um, Tom mentions uh, Age of Calamity. Yeah, the Fort Hatino sequence in Age of Calamity is very, very cool. Mm. All right, we're facing the correct direction. Roughly, yeah. Ah, nope, left. There we go, Baron Woods. <laughs> oh, the Congo might have a. Uh, there's a stable up there that the Congo might have tips and tricks for us for. Because I feel like there's a memory in the Farron region. Oh, yeah, um, hold on, hold on. This I will search. Cool. Polygon, show us what you got. <laughs> Give me your bits, man. No. No? Really? Yeah. Huh. Wild. Well, let's not go to the stable, then. I should probably switch to, like, an actually good weapon. Or, you know, something approximating it. <laughs> One thing I kind of like about the weapon durability mechanic is that it sort of incentivizes you to use up your shittier weapons first. Um, so it's like, I've had this forked Lizal spear for a while. It's not good. I don't need it. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, so now that we've done Von Meadow... The laser is just perpetually pointing at Hyrule Castle, which is great. Yeah, which is also a really great way to orient you in the world, because you mm -hmm. always know where the castle is, 
and then where the most recent divine beasts you've done shrine. will be. Shrine where? Where shrine? Sir. Sir. Okay. I always explore. Oh, I, think I always explore these places at night and then get surprised when I am just absolutely bombarded by random bullshit. <laughs> direction of the shrine, I can tell that much. And we got some sick-ass ruins! So we can do archaeology on them. Ooh, add hearty radishes! Aw, oh, everything's coming up link today. Ooh. It's more Zonai ruins. <laughs> ah, beans, I missed them. Missed them by that much. But yeah, we're in a Zonai ruin and there's a shrine around here somewhere, which is pretty good. Oh, I think I see it. <laughs> and you know what else I see? Snails! Yeah, yeah. It's funny how they call them sneaky when they are glow in the dark and thus very easy to. That's fine. Anyway, get some spicy peps, get that shrine, get that sporb. Maybe that's Link's other champion powers, being able to see snails phosphoresce. <laughs> <laughs> or, uh, fluoresce. I'm... I That's think phosphorus is also correct for glowing. Okay. Yeah. Hopefully this one's not too annoying. Honestly, at this point, fingers crossed for a combat trial. At least yeah, those we kind of know what we're doing in. Just spend a few uh, weapons and yeah. kick a guardian's ass. Exactly. All right, we're sitting at uh, yeah. two Link's points. eyes are wired for food, exactly. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> It looks like we're sitting at 2.2k. It's yep. a little far away from me. Yeah, okay. Okay. Ah, oh, yeah! Yeah! Alright. How bad? Major? Modest? Minor. Okay, fine. Alright, let's get this over with. <laughs> Come here, you. <laughs> A pathetic test of strength, where if you die, it's totally on you. <laughs> A weak sauce test of strength. Whoop. Lost my spear. Alright. No, let's get rid of the weaker one. Come on, buddy. Okay, okay, all right, that one, that one was on me. The uh, thing for making the paraglider go did not go. Perfect. All right, that was fun. I wonder how many of these there are left in the world. I really feel like we've done an awful lot of these. Uh, there are, I think, 40 combat challenges total. Hmm. Guardian shield is worse than all of our other shields. Yeah. All right, I guess we're leaving it. We did get a sword out of the bargain, though, so that worked out. Mm -hmm. I feel like... Doesn't one of the dragons hang out in, in these woods a lot? Yeah, um... Barash, the Barash. green one. What? I don't think we need this Guardian Spear when we could have a boomerang. Get out of here, you. Well, let's see if we can find Farosh. That would be good. Odds are he'll just kind of fly over us at some point. 
Yeah, but I think there's a lake he flies out of, and we might be able to get his scale there pretty quickly. Uh, yeah, like Floria. Hmm. Let's see if we can start heading that direction. Yeah, 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 thanks. Take this board. Thank you. Hell yeah. One more of these, and we're on track for the Master Sword. Whoop. Okay. After we do all the Divine Beasts, we will be able to do the Champion's Ballad, which is uh, significantly harder, I gotta say. Like, that's the level of difficulty I was kind of hoping the rest of this game would be like. Oh, yeah. Um, um, one person says, uh, Maddie, uh, Chemist here, fluorescence is immediate glow, glow with a black light, and phosphorescence happens over time, like glow in the dark, stars on your ceiling. Cool. Ah. Yes, Blue would remember where all the dragons are. It's been seared <laughs> into my mind. <laughs> now, one other thing is the leg of the horse god. If we wanted to get the horse god shrine thingy, we could um, oh, yeah. head down to the Highland Stable and check it out. But for now, let's just follow the road, check out the rest of these cool-ass ruins, kill that Lizalfos, because why not? Shouldn't have been breathing in front of me. <laughs> Howdy, folks. Ow! Sir! Wow, okay. Oh, I don't really want to use the boomerang for this, but... <laughs> Sir. Whoops. Okay, there we go. So yeah, I think we're going to make our way up to Lake Floria, see if we can uh, camp out, spot the dragon, get the scale, might be able to get the Spring of Courage, which would be nice. Because that would give us, um, possibly, the last shrine we need before we do the, uh, you know, the thing, the Master Sword thingy. Probably. And there are an awful lot of hardy radishes in these woods, which is good. <laughs> So beautiful, so majestic. I'm not getting that core off, don't at me. Yeah. Oh, snowy bot. Twenty and a twoy and a you know what to doy, baby. Oh, give me your bits. All right, awesome. Because this isn't on Twitch when I say, give me your bit Cass? What the fuck are you doing here? Uh, when I say, give me your bits, I mean, like, your organs and not your, your <laughs> bits and your Twitch subs and etc, etc. Hey, man. What's the haps, bro? Forest dragon, you say? Tell me more. Mm -hmm. A visitor? So deep in the forest. Cass, it's me! Oh. Ah, yes, okay. Trust you're keeping well. Ah, I killed the giant bird. Don't worry about it. Yeah, let's hear it. Oh. Yosh. I killed a giant bird. Don't worry, Cass. You've got nothing to worry about. The other one had it coming. <laughs> yeah, that one That one was a real bitch. Where the forest dragon displays its jaws, a shrine sleeps with noble cause. Eh, it's an okay rhyme. I'm not judging. Is that it? Mm. North of here. Definitely. Oh my god, that was it. <laughs> yeah. Nice couplet, uh, Cass. Uh, what did he say? It was the demo? Oh, yeah, yeah. So, say hello to, I believe, where the Shrine of Courage is. But the thing is, this river, you see, it looks like a dragon, and then dragon's jaws. So we're gonna mark our last thing there. Yep. Yeah. Deal with that later, but for now, we're going to Lake Floria. Yeah. Whoops. Should we do this one? So far we've been kind of killing it at these. It's not raining, we can get the high ground. Kill our electric keys a little bit. Get out of here, you. Sick! One thing I like about how they do the uh, clothing upgrades is because you kind of never know what you're gonna need. 
Uh, it like encourages you to kill as many different things as possible because <laughs> it's like, yep. oh, I need like all these lizards. I need like electric key swings for this one. It's uh, it's just pretty cool. Ah, oh, such beautiful architecture. So majestic. The design of the enemies being hard <laughs> makes you want to run away from them in the early game, but then you realize there actually is, yeah, exactly red, a tangible benefit to killing everything you can get your hands on. Yep. Uh, but there is an electric whiz rope down there I don't want to deal with. Yes, sir. Alright, awesome. I feel like there's still some left. I can hear him, but... Oh yeah, there he is. Well, there he goes. Awesome. And a chest. Yeah. Ooh, worth it. Hell yeah. Alright, back to work. Oh, man. Such a pretty region. I watched, I've been watching a bunch of, like, Zeltic stuff in the background while I've been working, so... Mm -hmm. uh, highly recommend his channel. He does a lot of, like... Uh, he, he's been doing a lot of Tears of the Kingdom theories, but also just a lot of, like, uh, deep dives into theories of stuff in Breath of the Wild. And it's, it's one of those things where a lot of the time he'll be like, this is a theory, and halfway through the video I'm like, why do you keep calling it a theory? It is clearly demonstrably true. Um, yeah, <laughs> you're right. Yeah, he's the one who uh, came up with, as far as I can tell, came up with the idea that the Forgotten Temple is the uh, the ruins of the Skyview Temple from Skyward Sword, basically, where uh, yeah. where you drop the island from Skyloft with the goddess statue on it to seal away demise. Uh, so, and that's one of the things where it's like, all right, maybe this is a theory, but also this is very clearly the intent. Like, yeah. it looks exactly like it. Everything's in the same place. And he was the first one to, like, vocally figure it out. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, highly recommend. And he also has a video that's, like, all the location names in Breath of the Wild that are references to other games and what they are references to, uh, which is... Oh! Hello, big bird statue. <laughs> oh, my God. Hello, giant buffalo thingy. Oh, wow, that was easy. Heck, yeah. Neat. Anyway, uh... Yeah, so a lot of cool here, stuff let me, there. Uh, let me link Zeltic in here. Yes, definitely. Um, the video on the Forgotten Temple, uh, maybe specifically, so people have a starting point. Hey, goat. Hey, goat. We're just chilling, man. We're just hanging out. Excuse me? Hello? Oh! The cobblins! <laughs> All right, back to work. Uh, what's, uh, yeah, let's get rid of this one. Okay. Oh no! Hey! Dang it, you knocked her out. She's not gonna give me a little word. What are you doing, bro? Alright. Miss? Hello? You good? Yeah, she's fine. Oh, she's fine. What a bunch of cowards. <laughs> it's the Hardy Truffle Girls again! You good? Getting it torn up. Wham! Monsters out of nowhere! Mm. There's no Hardy Truffles here. Whatever. Okay! Back to work! Got it. Got it? Hell yeah. Link has been linked. Yeah! You just know that when they first came up with, like, a link to the past, they were like, yeah, <laughs> we're geniuses. Yeah. <laughs> I will also say Zeltic is a, uh, uh, a very nice person from our experience in general as well, because we reached out to him. We were working on our Hyrule detailed diatribe, and yeah. I basically told him, like, look, I, like, everything I, I know, I, I've essentially learned from you, so, like, I'd like to thank you in, yeah. in the video, um, but would it be all right if I, you know, use some of the footage that you get? I don't know, like, what tools you use to get these, like, beautiful, like, panning shots of Hyrule, but they're wonderful. Can I use them? He's like, yeah, no, no totally. Like, su such, so sweet. 
so nice. Just a really sweet uh, dude, yeah. He didn't need to say yes to that, but he did, and that was very considerate. Um, he was able to make our video uh, a lot better because of all the wonderful work that, that he was able to do um, mm -hmm. um, on the on the front end. Um, so definitely go and watch his videos because they go into so much more depth than what we cover in the detailed diatribe. I really created that as a, a kind of survey course on all of the stuff that's going on in in this version of Hyrule. Yeah, it's very cool. Whoop, no, I'm good, sorry. My mistake. All right, bye, Beetle. Have fun. A lot of bugs in this place. You're gonna have a great time. All right, bye. <laughs> anyway. Um, but yeah, no, Zeltic's channel is really fun. Uh, he also does, oh, wait, is this a stable I haven't found yet? It is! Hell yeah! Hello! Hello, everybody! Where's the shrine for this place? It's gotta be nearby. It must be why the difference with hanging. Oh, excuse me, sir. Oh, this is cool. Just a little campsite in among the ruins. Oh, it's gotta be up there, isn't it? Well, no pecanga. Oh, excuse me. <gasps> yeah! Oh man, your uh, resourcefulness in finding the shrine speaks to the promise of a something something. Anyway, no, this is probably an actual shrine. It'd be weird if that was a blessing. Oh, we're up to 2.4k, that's nice. Right, let me in. He also has uh, some Halloween videos that he does of like, oh, five creepy mysteries in Zelda or like the five creepiest characters. Quite fun. Yeah. Yeah. I love, because that's one thing that's really cool about the way that they do like the world building in Zelda. A lot of things don't have firm answers. Oh my god. Really? Yeah. Oh, thank god. It's not another combat try. It really looked like one. <laughs> um, all right. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Um, anyway. Uh, Halt the tilt. That's what I have to tell myself when I'm getting mad at video games. Um, anywho, because of the way that the, uh, the Zelda games are sort of structured, uh, there's a lot of situations where something could have a clear answer, but uh, it's maybe it's just like a reference or kind of a, a cute little joke or something, or you know. So it's like there are locations in Breath of the Wild that are named the same as other locations in other games. It doesn't mean they are the same place. Uh, the geography of Hyrule shifts around a lot, so, like, um, the Temple of Time, I think, uh, is, like, its location in relation to the castle has shifted around a lot. Kakariko Village always moves around. Um, just a lot of stuff like that. Uh... Yeah, so, like, the, the Temple of Time and its surroundings have the same general layout as Castle Town. Mm -hmm. Except for the castle. <laughs> yeah, ca the castle's in completely the wrong place in relation to it. Uh, which is pretty fun. Just a lot of interesting stuff like that. Um, let's see, what to do? Hmm. I think this is... Oh. Alright, I remember. There's ways to be clever about this. Um... Yeah. Huh. Anyway, yeah, highly recommend. A lot of fun stuff. Uh, very cool theories. Just overall, a really nice. Uh, wh when I say like a really good background noise channel, I mean that as the highest compliment. <laughs> it, like background noise is perfect for me. Um, all right, and now. Yeah. All right. Spore now. He also uh, made a post about how, so the, the Tears of the Kingdom art book somehow got leaked, uh, and he basically made a post that's like, I'm not going to cover anything from that. Spoilers, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait for things to be officially released by Nintendo, which is good and cool, because yeah. that would have been such easy clickbait for views, so. Yeah, um, and anyone in chat, uh, uh, if you post anything from the leaks, you will be banned. Ah, yes. Categorical. I mean, I'm not reading chat anyway, but yes, don't do it. <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He'll do it. I've got a smile upon you. Thanks, bro. Okay. Anyway, back to Lake Floria. 
Because Zaltic has a really nice storytelling voice. Yeah. And the cadence is right. And just the way that he describes stuff, like when he talks about the sword that seals the darkness, there's there's the, there's that like dramatic little edge in there that that isn't there when people just talk about the master sword. Yeah, you know? he sometimes indulges in little bits of like narrative all like like dramatic retelling narrative prose, which is very cool. Uh and it's always just kind of nice to see like, that sort of I thing. watch his videos and I'm like, okay, shit, take some notes. Hold <laughs> on. <laughs> Alright. I think there's a funny little thing we can do here. I just gotta find the right person. There she is. Hello. A blade of evil's bane. Yeah. Cool yeah, one. the blade of evil's bane. <laughs> oh my god, we pause. Look at what the horse is doing! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. Thunder Magnet. Okay, let's see what's up. Oh, and if we wanted, we could get Ganonhorf. Although I don't think this is great for a horse. Oh, what's this person doing? What you looking at, buddy? Ah, they're really directing us to Lake Floria. Something strange at the top of that waterfall, though. Okay. This is another thing that would be trivial if we had the Zoro Tunic, but, uh... Oh, that's another weird shrine thingy. We'll deal with that later. Anyway, right now we have to figure out the stable situation. Oh, we can use Rivali's Gale. <laughs> yeah, woo! Wow, that took us up pretty high. So, this is actually a clever tutorial for that situation. Uh, because the lady was like, uh, oh, the shrine is always getting struck by lightning. It's really scary. And we just found a metal weapon embedded in the top of the stable. Yeah. But also, the thing that the guy pointed out, I mean, we'll go there. And I'll show you why this is a sneaky tutorial for that. Metal axe. Yeah, it's good as a lightning rod. How strange. Hey! We got the dumbest part of the rubber armor. <laughs> Thank you. Gimp mask. <laughs> uh, I was just holding on to this. Actually, that kind of makes sense, because it's like, if she's freaked out by it, you know, she's going to want to protect herself from the scary lightning. All right, let's go. Oh, we can always just Cryonis our way up. That would make sense. I keep forgetting about Cryonis. It's, it's weird. Cryonis is objectively one of the very helpful runes. But it's, it feels like everybody forgets about it in comparison to, you know, bombs and magnesis and stasis. Maybe because you probably get funneled into getting the Zora Tunic really early, and after that, the Cryonis up waterfalls thing is kind of not useful. <laughs> hmm. Oh, hold on. I'm sensing of a goblin attack. And my heroic nature simply will not allow me to uh, oh. pass by without intervening. Of course not. What kind of a hero would I be? Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Good. They are, in fact, still... Ooh, that's a bad one. Sir, I am. Oh my god! I'm trying just really hard not to stab that guy. I wonder if Yuga clan members ever get ambushed. You good, bro? Ah. Oh. Uh huh. Oh. Bro, you got nothing to say about what I just. All right, later. Cool, fine, whatever. It's fine, I'm not mad. True heroism is its own reward or something. Okay. Gotta get up this freaking lake. Oh man. Such pretty ruins. Uh oh. Hold on. Just saw the lightning going. Um. And I 
can't use any shields when lightning is going off. Perfect. <laughs> awesome. That's gonna make getting up there a bit of a pain. Oh wait, I have Revali's Gale. What am I saying? <laughs> yeah, you can do anything. <laughs> I'm magic and everything is incredible. Alright. I think this is one of the areas in the game that has like designated weather that doesn't change. I believe that's correct. Alright, let's see. Maybe it'll let us climb up anyway. Nope. Okay, cool. Well, I guess, uh... Let's see how high up the gale can take us. Ooh, not too shabby. So a lot of ways to go down up there, of course, but, uh... Okay, good. There's something we can hit it with that won't get us struck by lightning. Thank goodness. Shoot. What you got? <laughs> God damn it. Ugh. All right, let's send it the other direction this time. covering anything. Why did we do that? What's happening? All right, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Ooh, hello. Updraft. Oh no, come back. Let's check out with lightning again. Ooh, hello. <gasps> anything interesting? Oh, heck yeah. Oh, it like struck a banana oh, tree. Wow. Oh, there's a chest. That's good. What do we got? 50 bucks! Heck yeah! Alright, anything else we can do? Looks like no. Okay. <sighs> Getting up this mountain in the rain is kind of a... Oh, sick! Fight bananas. Gale is recharging. And there's a Great. Hmm. Cow was a Yiga clan member. I sure. guess. <laughs> hmm. Man, getting up there is really annoying in this. Oh, speaking of really annoying. There it goes. Let's see. Anything we can do? Sort of sneak around any path that might let us get up there. <sighs> Great. I guess we could wait for Rivali's Gale to recharge, but that might take a little while. Let's see what we can do in the meantime. A lot of exploration. Lightning is striking things and setting them on fire, which is always good for updrafts. And there's a chest over there, that is nice. Yeah, pull out Magnesis and see what you can grab from the lake, because there are usually a ton in here. True. You oh, can also oh. climb the waterfall with Cryonis. Yes. Uh, well, it's not great because you slip off the sides of ice blocks in the rain, because everyone oh, knows yeah. making water, uh, making ice a little bit wet is what really makes it slippery. Um, I'm kind of curious about it. But fortunately, it just stopped raining, so I think we can climb up around the other side and just go... But there's something I'm curious about. I want to know if we can um, absolutely demolish this Wizrobe by precisely hitting him with this. <laughs> just flattening it. Oh. You just gotta aim it correctly. Oh, 
was so close. Well, take two. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Just give this to me. This oh. is so funny. Bounced right over his head. Yeah. Well, Link, Link. Come on, buddy. Wow. So majestic. It's okay. We'll get him next time, boys. Yeah, yeah. Awesome! Everything about this is good and fine. Okay, whatever. I do want to get this open, though, because there's a good thing under it. Looks like a lot of ores. And people are like, why don't you use stasis so much? Oh, you know, it's utterly useless most of the time. That's probably why. Thank you. I'll take it. Nice. Okay. Let's go climb the cliff now. <laughs> this one we can climb with cryos because we are not in rain anymore. So that's good. Okay. Uh, Red, save here before you jump. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, too late. Sorry. That's okay. Nope. Link, for fuck's sake, what's happening? <laughs> All right, well. Oh. What? 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 Uh, cool. I accidentally found a shrine. Yeah. <laughs> I think this is the Lake Floria shrine behind the waterfall. Yeah, but we gotta get up the waterfall still is the pain in the ass. Well, yeah. <laughs> Emergent gameplay, baby! <laughs> Alright, let me get What do we got? Combat? Apparatus? Blessing? More climbing gear? <laughs> God, I wish. Mm. Okay. Okay. Ooh, an actual- oh, fuck. Is this the other golf one? No, no this isn't the bad golf one. Oh, this is just- oh, right, this okay. This is just a golf one. Too easy. All right, buddy. Oh, fr oh, 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 yeah. What? Oh, sick. A treasure chest. Right, give me, give me. What do we got? Sick. Ice arrows. Okay, anyway. After this shrine, I'm probably going to head out, make some lunch, and attempt to actually do some uh, some <laughs> detailed diatribe work. Perfect. Sounds like a plan. This video comes out next Friday, and I need to write the thing. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Whoop. Okay. I wonder if I can cheese it by just launching myself. Well, only one way to find out. Whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah, okay. Great. Well, I tried. <laughs> okay. Let's see. How to do this. Now maybe? Oh, okay. Great, that was easy. Oh, everything's coming up Link today. <laughs> Sick. Alright. 
Yeah, that wasn't so bad. In terms of golf shrines, this one was moderately painless. We've seen worse, and we will see worse again. <laughs> we certainly will. <laughs> okay, fantastic. We're gonna have so many sporbs. We're gonna be so ready to get this Master Sword. We'll just have to do the Lost Woods thing. Yep, okay, cool. I want to get up this waterfall and do the other thing, and then find the dragon and do the other thing. <laughs> so we can do the other thing! <laughs> Uh, the price I pay for not getting the Zora tunic. Oh well. 3k gold get the Zora tunic. No, then I'd have to start the Vomet uh, the no, the Varuda, the Varuda quest line. And then I'd have to be sad. Only if you wanted this goal. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Awesome. Oh, Revali's Gale's back. Perfect. This should make things a little bit easier, hopefully theoretically. Alright, let me out. Yeah, yeah! Awesome. Okay. I'm not getting the Korok, don't at me. Alright, we're gonna go up this way. We have a volley scale! <laughs> oh, Revali, you didn't get me to the top of the cliff. What good are you? <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Let's... Red, don't ask rhetorical questions you know the answer to. <laughs> Ooh, so true, am I right? <laughs> Oh, for God's sake. Fellas, I'm busy. I don't have time for your shenanigans. <sighs> Bye! <laughs> See ya! Alright, let me up. Like, okay, there we go. Ah, there we go. Everything's really coming together. Yeah, we can see the thing over to the right. The weird thing that they drew our attention to from the stable. It's gonna be fun. Hey, Shika Sensor, do you think you could go off a little bit more annoyingly? I can still hear myself think. Oh boy, oh boy. It's gonna be a little close. A little close. Ha! Whew! Close one. Alright, fantastic! Oh! Oh! That, that means something. And so does that music. Dragon's nearby. Dragon's nearby. Oh, yeah, found him. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so he comes out from the top and then flies down. After all the work I did to get so far up. <gasps> yes! Where's it going? Where's it going? Where'd it go? No, go, get out of here. I need the shrine. No! Yeah! Oh, fantastic. Okay. Oh. Thanks, Mirage. All right, well, now I need to go and climb the fucking... Again. Now that I've seen a dragon, I think that's my time. I'm uh, gonna go get lunch and get working on this detail that I tried. Sounds script. perfect. Okay. Uh, All, right. All right. Thanks for having me on. Always a pleasure. Um, <laughs> Thanks I, for uh, being here. Yeah, let me know if you need any help with any of the little stream setup stuff. If you want to change the the goal or anything, uh, um, I can I can jump in and uh, take care of that for you if you need. But otherwise, uh, everyone in chat, be nice. Yeah, be nice, um, be chill, be respectful. I am going to be uh, keeping half an eye on the chat with uh, from my phone. So, you know, don't do anything too dumb. Um, <laughs> All but, right, now uh, I need yeah. to figure out what I'm having for lunch. <laughs> Great idea. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. All right. Well. Bye, friends. Bye. All right, talk to you later. All right, let me just close that Discord real quick. And we are back in business. Whew, okay. Well, all right, well, the whole goal of doing the Lake Floria thing 
was to get the, sh the scale that we needed for the Shrine of Courage up here. So that's pretty much sorted. So we're going to do that. But first, I do want to do that, uh, that thing I've lost track of. That thing. That thing up there. We want to go there. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to do the Shrine of Courage. Just because it's there. Uh, or the, the Spring of Courage. For God's sake. Anyway. Whoop. Nope! <laughs> Whew. Sorry, I was trying to do Rivali's Gale. And I uh, just jumped off the cliff instead. That's how I'm going. Alright. There we go. It's all coming together. Huh. Oh, right. I was going to keep an eye on the chat. Excuse me. Perfect. Okay. Adventure! Excitement! Thrills! Not falling off a waterfall if we can help it. Yeah! Oh, hold on. Kill this thing before it kills us. Phew! I've learned we can't trust bovines in this universe. Oh no. Whoops, hold on. <laughs> ah, yeah, that's about what I thought. Okay. This one for you. That one's okay. No shield. Great, we're good. Okay. Okay, how are we gonna do this? How are we going to... Uh, let's see. I think the goal is the same as it was before. Climb up on the other side where the rain isn't perpen uh, perpetual. Avoid the wizard robe again. Yeah, I think that's gonna be the move. <laughs> No, thank you. So annoying to deal with. Hold on, I think we might be able to kill it pretty quickly. Just a little bullet time. If it... Yeah, there he is. Show yourself, bitch. Anyway, back to work. <sighs> it's another owl statue from the Zonai. Always fun. It really does seem like the Zonai might have just kind of directly worshipped whatever facets of the Triforce they thought were important. Um, which is pretty neat. But that does mean the uh, the uh, there's a Celtic theory about this, which is why uh, Blue brought it up earlier, that there's this idea that maybe the Zonai are like Ganon worshippers a little bit, which um, would be bad. That would be a bad thing. <laughs> um, but especially because the barbarian armor is so strongly on the, like, power side of things. Uh, it's it's certainly possible, but the Zonai have statues of dragons and owls as well, which are representative of courage and wisdom um, in the way that the Zelda franchise does its symbolism. So, you know, maybe it was, uh, maybe it was kind of a subdivided thing, which is pretty cool. But it's another thing where I don't think we really need the full answer, exactly. Uh, you know, part of what makes it work is that um, there are a lot of different possibilities, and the game doesn't spell everything out. This is kind of something I've been thinking about with a lot of uh, storytelling in general. Like, there's this sort of sweet spot, I think, of just enough vagueness that your audience feels like the world is bigger than they can possibly know, which I think is sometimes a benefit in storytelling. Um, and having enough actually solid that the world does hold together. Uh, this is kind of how I feel like uh, when people are writing horror. Because uh, an intrinsic element of horror is, of course, the fear of the unknown. But if you're writing horror, you probably want to make sure that what exactly is happening, like, internally makes sense with itself, uh, follows logic, stuff like that. Um, which is mildly inconvenient because that means that you, the writer, kind of want there to be answers to all the horror questions. 
But if there are answers to all the horror questions, the horror is significantly diminished. Uh, anyway, so I, I think part of what makes the Zelda game work is that there aren't concrete answers every time for everything that happens. You know, we don't know for sure what happened in the intervening 10,000 years. We don't know where the Zonai came from or where they went. We might find out in Tears of the Kingdom, but, uh, you know, we don't have to. And there's still things that aren't answered, and that doesn't make the world feel weird or broken. It just makes it feel like there are things that we don't know all the answers to. Right, where? There it is. Ah! It's our actual favorite bird boy. Hey, Cass! What's up? Oh. <laughs> he likes us. I stay nice and dry. My feathers repel the rain rather well. Aw, oh, shucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's hear it, baby. <laughs> Cass, come on, man. <laughs> All right, cool. Let me go show you what that means. Oh, that's so cool! A Song of Storms. A again, it's another, like, cheeky little reference. It's- okay. I feel like such a fake fan saying this. It's been a really long time since I heard the actual Song of Storms. Can you guys help me out? Was that the melody to the Song of Storms? Because it sounded hella familiar, and that might be because it was, but... You know how I do. It wasn't? Oh yeah, it was the tower theme? That makes sense. But yeah, he should have been playing the Song of Storms. That would have made this really good. So we put the metal axe that was acting as a thunder, uh, as a lightning rod up top. And uh... Well, I think we can expect what results are going to happen. Yeah, they should have played the Song of Storms. <sighs> For a franchise so heavily based on songs meaning things, I think that there were opportunities that weren't taken in Breath of the Wild. Rivali's Gale is now ready. Thanks, Rivali. Oops, mushroom. Yeah, mushrooms. Um. There were opportunities for things that weren't taken, which is kind of a shame. Oh! Whoops. <laughs> Gotta stop fucking gallivanting around near the edges of cliffs. Did you please get struck by lightning already? I'm on a clock. Gotta save Zelda. Above. Well, the axe is in the right place. Alright, cool. We just gotta wait for this thing to get struck by lightning, basically. <laughs> you do not have to hold the axe. I've done this before. It destroys whatever weapon uh, it strikes, I think. But yeah, you don't need to be there tanking the lightning bolt. Did... Wow. Huh, okay. Well, nice one. A little to the left next time. <laughs> I like how the game is so generous about not dealing you lightning damage if the lightning didn't strike you because you were holding metal. Like, they're pretty good about that. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really want to sacrifice anything else. Hmm. Hmm. Whoop. I 
see no downside to this plan. All right, hold on. Come on, buddy. Oh boy, oh boy. Sitting there. All right. No, hold on. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Come on, do something. Oh, you know what? Maybe we're being a little silly about this. I don't know if this would work. Yeah, that doesn't seem enough. Oh, oh, it's happening. So the whiz rope thing did nothing, but uh, I told you I didn't need to be holding the axe. <laughs> Although the timing of that was very funny, taking the swing right when the lightning just happened to strike anyway. <laughs> Sweet. Blessing. I guess that does make sense. I think if I'd been one of those people who did get struck by lightning to make that happen, I would have wanted this to be a blessing. <laughs> oh, sick! You guys know where the rubber chest piece is? I know it's somewhere- oh, you know what, it's probably in that thun- that- that other, like, the Thundra Plateau, I believe. Because it's another perpetual lightning area with stuff. Yep, I knew it. Okay. Well, we're gonna do the, uh, the Spring of Courage, uh, and then maybe we'll go check that out. Because, as mentioned, um, if we reach our current goal, uh, fundraising for earthquake relief in Turkey and Syria, uh, our current goal is set at 5k, and if we reach that, we will go and get the Master Sword, uh, which means turning in some Sporbs for hearts, because we don't have enough right now. Um, and navigating the Lost Woods. But yeah. So that'd be pretty cool. And until then, I get to self-determine, doing emergent gameplay stuff. Ah, now it's not constantly thundering anymore. That's nice. Did Cass leave? Cass, I wanted to tell you about the thingy. Okay, it's fine. All right, where are we going? Um, Gloria, we already did. Oh, yeah, we wanted to go up here. All right. Well, we already did the Lake Floria thing, so let's just get rid of that. And, uh, yeah, let's kind of just circle around this way, I guess. See what we find. That's what I like about this game. It's <laughs> it's all the uh, emergent gameplay and just the ability to sort of goof off and find cool things. And the game does reward you for just sort of trying stuff, which I like. 
There are a lot of situations where things have unorthodox solutions. And uh, it just sort of rewards you for trying weird things. Which is part of why I think the speedrunning community has so much fun with this game, because uh, the, the um, desire to just mess around is sort of already a thing in the game. And because, of course, the way that glitch hunting works is basically the same, but, you know, breaking the rules a lot more. So I kind of understand why it synergizes so well. I'm crying out loud. We got rid of the perpetual storm thingy. Why would you start raining now? so pretty. This region is so nice. I mean, it's full of Lizalfos and stuff, but I think they expect you to come here pretty early, considering that most of the stuff we've been dealing with is fairly low level. Although, also, the difficulty of the game racks up as you accumulate more hearts and stamina, I think. I think that's the metric they use. Um, because, like, the after a while, you kind of stop seeing red bokos in most places. Oh, you know what? I think we're nearly out of arrows. We should swap them to something. Yeah, let's, uh... Yeah. Man, we have a lot of ancient arrows now. Ugh, let's see. But yeah, there, there's like a hidden XP system somewhere uh, that basically determines how much they should ratchet things up, so after a while the game starts throwing silver enemies at you as the highest level threat. Um, if we were playing in master mode, which we aren't, uh, we'd be doing, we'd be getting gold enemies, which are the scariest they get in the base game. Or, I'm sorry, the, scar the scariest they get in master mode. Uh, people have, like, modded in different nightmare things, but that's not really the same thing. These are gonna be useful for... If we do start the Bonivorous thing later, but that's that's a later thing. All right. Oh, <laughs> check it out. There he is. All right. Let's see. Where's our, where's our marker? Oh, I see. Okay. Sort of this way. We could be following the river up. That might be fun, but eh, shortcut. But yeah, it's good because um, the the power scaling in this game is a little bit ridiculous. Uh, it it doesn't feel perfectly balanced, basically, uh, as all things should be, as we know. Um, as mentioned, you know, when you start off the game with only three hearts and like you're using tree branches uh, to attack, it's like okay, this kind of sucks. But as soon as you get off the Great Plateau, you start accumulating more gear. You know, the towns sell you armor, stuff like that. Uh, and it's so fluid that you don't really notice how much tougher you're getting until things that were problems just kind of stop being problems. Uh, and the thing is, this game is so fun that you sort of want to keep having that experience of like, oh, I'm gonna solve this problem in an interesting way. Uh, but after a while, you sort of, it gets to the point where most things aren't problems. Whoops! I think it heard me talking shit. <laughs> All right. I mean, we can still get this thing. But, like, you see what I mean, right? Like, a little scary. But... Once you figure out how to deal with it, 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 you sort of stop getting that, like, oh, man, I, I'm just not sure what to do. It's like, okay, I'm going to hit it in the eye, and then it's going to, you know, I'm going to hide, and it's going to be fine. Um, 
which is still pretty cool. But that's why uh, the Champion's Ballad is such a good bit of DLC, because it adds, like, basically secondary quest lines for all four champions, uh, and thus all four Divine Beasts, that involve doing some pretty wild stuff. Uh, ah. Hello. We might be in the right place. Hold on. How close are we? Oh yeah, we're right on top of it. This is exactly what we wanted. Um... To the point where, like, the Champion's Ballad is- parts of it are so difficult that it's, like, it is wild to me that this is the same game. Like, every shrine has multiple stages. There's a- there's a cute one that starts off like a regular combat trial, and then, uh, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. We're cheesing it. Not today, Satan! talking so much shit. <laughs> Alright. Cool. I think I got him. Yep, there he goes. Whoops. God dang it, guys. I'm busy? Okay. No, I wanted to open the chest, not climb the pillar. But I'm very impressed, Link. Very cool. Yeah! 300 bucks! Oh, I don't have a shield! Because of the lightning! All right, we're good. Anyway. Hey, girl. What's up? I go into the pause menu to weapon swap because I forget what the shortcut button is, and it's just a little better. It gives me time to, like, think. All right. Yeah. Alright. There we go. Shrine nearby. No way, really? Alright. And I think on the way out, we'll see if we can get rid of those Lizalfos. It's just, you know, more weapons, more stuff. I was talking so much shit about the difficulty curve in this game being weak, and then I just ran my way through without fighting anything, so. But yeah, uh, that was the scale we just got from the dragon, Farosh, uh, that flew out of the, the lake while we were minding our business, so. We still need Dinral's scale for the Shrine of uh, Power, which we found, because it's pretty open to the air. Uh, we just didn't have the, the scale we needed to actually get the, uh, blessing for Shrine, so... Dinrel doesn't hang out in this area, though, so... Oh, sick. Oh! Excuse me. Get out of here. Whew. All right, let's see. We're sitting at 2.6k raised, which is really good. Um, 
as mentioned, the 5k goal is going and getting the Master Sword uh, in the Lost Woods. But um, I would like to figure out something to do for 3k and maybe 4k. Um, hmm. <laughs> we could go back to Hyrule Castle, get more weapons. We could see if we can um, actually... Okay, this wouldn't be for 3k, I'd say. Uh, maybe like 4k or even 6k. Um, but there's a second route into Hyrule Castle from the outside than the one we took. The eastern passage is on the other side of the castle. Uh, I believe we snuck in through the west area, which is like the mine. I think the eastern passage takes us to the library. Um, so this would be to another run to, to get... Oh, you know what? Yeah. How about at 3k, we, we aim to accumulate rupees as quickly as possible and go buy our house. Uh, we turned in the wood, we still need the money, so we'll, uh, we'll, we'll take care of that at 3k. It's very appropriate. More heart containers, please. Thank you. Yeah. All right, let's see. We have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think that's 13 hearts. I think we'd be okay, which is good. All right, let's see. Remember that thing I said about dragons representing courage? <laughs> the Shrine of Courage, or the, the Spring of Courage, is literally inside a giant Zonai dragon statue. Let's see. We should get more arrows at some point. But for now, we're okay. See me, I'm invisible. Whoop! Well, that was bad. Focusing a little bit. Uh, your bits. Thank you. You know, I'm starting to think perhaps this isn't the approach that the game thinks I should be able to take. Oh, you know what? I have a really shitty bow that I should get rid of. Right here. Okay, let's see. What else to do? I'm crying out loud, guys. I'm just minding my business. I mean, I am trying to kill you, but you know, that's my business. God, you guys are so needy. Okay, let's see. Whoops. Hello, how long have you been there? Come on, Link. Really? It's not that hard. Alright, whatever. Okay. Alright, on to the other side. Fellas. Come on. I don't think I got either of them. Whew. Close one. And 
one more of the flavor. There we go. Perfect. All right. That wasn't so bad. Let's see, is there any, like, interesting treasure around here or something? Or did I do all that? No reason. Yep. Okay. Seems about right. Can't get the uh, lotus things, though, for, for speedy boy food later. Is that a fish? Is there a fish in there? Yeah, it looks like not. Okay, well, we cleaned out the Shrine of Courage until the next Blood Moon, which is kind of nice. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, let's get out of here. <laughs> We're going. We're outie, baby. Ganon heard me talking smack. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, whatever. Get it out of your system, big man. Good opportunity for me to take a sandwich break. The blood moon rises once again. Is that right, Zelda? Please be careful. Uh, ma'am. Careful is my middle name. Link, careful, the hero of the wild. All right. Anyway. Let's, oh, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Where to go? Oh. Whoops. Ow, sir. Oh. Whoops, I'm out of ice arrows. I should go buy arrows. That's what we're going to do. We're going to go to a stable and we're going to buy arrows. Let's see. What's a good one? Oh! This one, we can also go find the um, the horse god thing. I think we need to give him a bunch of rubies, though. So We can't do that until we get our house. Gotta refinance our mortgage before we uh, give any more favors for divine beings. And we can also bounce around the stables looking for Pekongo, seeing if we can get our memories back. Beetle, are you here? I need arrows. Thank you. Hello, who are you? Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> How do we play? Oh. <sighs> oh, that could be good. Ah, oh, why not? Emergent gameplay! Actually, fuck it. Okay, let's get some arrows. Oh, Pecongo is here. Hey, Beetle. Oh, Beetle's napping. Oh, I don't want to wake him up. Beetle, I need arrows! Thank you. <laughs> Come here, you. Oh, wait. Oh, whoops. Hold on. There we go. That's what I wanted. Perfect. Uh, yeah, I know. I know. I know. Okay, fine. We're good. Uh, yeah, fine. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme. <laughs> All right. Incredible. Let's see. What can we sell? We're not selling any of that food. It's too good. Um, could sell some opals. Be a while before we need those. Pretty good. Wow. It's pretty good. We just need 3,000, so. so. A couple of these. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Fine. I 
bet that horse riding guy gives us rupees if we beat him, don't, doesn't he? Alright. Alright, guys. In order to do that, and we are gonna come back and pester Picongo in the morning, but for now he's asleep and won't help us out. Should we? Yeah. Should we? Which horse should we use? We use an Haunts? Or we use an Ganondorf? It's, uh... It, he says it's an obstacle course. I don't know if Ganondorf is gonna help. Is there... How do I... How do I... How does one set a pole going? I got no idea. Hmm. You know what? I, I'm seeing a big split here. I think we're gonna go with Haunts, and if it doesn't work out, we'll switch over to the Beast. I wanted Hans. Let me handle the paperwork. Aww. Hey. I thanks. Thank you, Paddock. I know how horses work. Ah, uh, heck yeah. Hey Hans, how you doing? Sorry I left you that one time. Oh. Do it, bitch. God damn it. <laughs> Alright, I've never done this before, literally ever, so. Let's just manage our expectations here, okay? Ooh. Jumping the obstacles. My horse has a jump button? Sh sure? Okay. Oh. Uh huh. Okay. Cool. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, good. Okay. So Hans just automatically jumps them. That's good. No. Hans, what the fuck? <laughs> well, this is already off to a bad start. Now my wounded pride. Excuse you? Yes, I want to try again. God damn it! <laughs> <sighs> no. <laughs> Shut up. Start. Now, Hans, I don't need your funky attitude on this one. I hate this game. <laughs> this is stupid. <sighs> no. <laughs> We're just gonna we're just gonna put you back. And I'm gonna do some cooking. Yeah. I would like to board this horse, thank you. God, that was stupid. <laughs> Alright. Ah. Uh, this time I didn't get thrown off, I jumped off because I got mad. <laughs> Uh, all right. Where's the cooking pot? Where are you hiding? 
hiding it. You cannot hide your cooking pots from me. Ah, I went exactly the wrong way. That explains it. Oh, hello again. Oh, boy. Okay. Maybe Ganondorf would have been the better choice. Uh, maybe next time we'll try. But uh, I'm not going to lose my money for stupid reasons. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> easiest way to get cash would probably be to go and find that guy uh, that does the whole, like, flight challenge thing. The guy who wants to be a, a, a bird man. I think we need to beat our previous record for him to pay us, but something. <laughs> we can also just go hit rocks and sell stuff. It's fine. Basically, if we hit 3k, I gotta go find 3k rupees and pay Bolson for my house. Um, but uh, we have not yet hit such, so we're all good so far. Ooh. <laughs> Killing taluses would probably be a way to do it. I need to get a sledgehammer, though, because it's kind of a pain otherwise. That's probably enough. All right, what are we? Oh yeah, Picongo. Maybe we can wake him up. Let's see. Hey, hey, hey! It worked. Yeah, you know it. Sorry, it's 3 a.m. I need to get a memory. Thank you. Oh yeah. Oh. Northeast shore of Lake Hyla. Scouts Hill, a little further east. Okay. Uh... All right. Northeast shore of Lake Hylia. Where's Lake Hylia? Where's Scouts Hill? Oh, right. Oh, yeah, we already marked it. Well, that's okay. We'll we'll turn that into a uh, we'll pin it and check it out later. For now, let's go check out that Lake of the Horse God thing that's right south of here. Okay, <clears throat> let's see. Oh yeah, and there's a sledgehammer right next to my house. So when we do the 3K thing, wait, hold on. We've got the order of operations reversed. <laughs> Go back to the house, get the sledgehammer, use the sledgehammer to kill taluses, use the taluses to pay for the, uh... Yeah, this is all coming together. For the sake! Why are you people like this? You know what? Forget this. The sun's about to rise anyway. Think stop. I've gotten enough hearts that I've, I've been getting a little blasé about losing them, which I think is not good. <laughs> oh, sick. The arrows. Huh, joke's on you guys. I normally have to spend money on those. Okay, that's very nice. Let's see. Is this the, uh... Oh, hold on. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Thanks, map. I, I think I'm getting the picture. <laughs> Hmm? 
Mm-hmm. Whoop. Sorry. I got distracted by my sandwich. Wasn't looking where I was going. All right, what's the sitch? More of that weird stone here with each of the mice. Hello? Sure. Mm. Melania. Hast thou, I mean, have you ever felt the pain of losing a horse companion? Mm. Hmm. All right, guys. We have a thousand rupees. Sure. Fine. Uh, we'll get my house in a bit. We will. We will. We're gonna. We're at 2.9k, so I have to, but. I'll be honest, you creep me out less than the great fairies. Yeah, still less creepy. Ah, so if I kill my horse, he gets mad. No. <laughs> You're darn right it is. I'm besties with haunts, even though he's annoying. Oh, okay, bye. Thanks for the help, buddy. Okay, let's see, what do we got? Is there a chest around here? I saw people talking about that, but... It's playing, like, the Great Fairy theme. Oh, there is! Hello. And also the stable theme. Which... Oh, it's an EX chest! What do we got? What are we looking at? What is it? What is it? Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so now we can, uh, we can, like, Pokeball summon our horse. I don't know if we can put that on Ganondorf. Um. Alright, now we need to get, like, <laughs> two and a half thousand rupees. Okay, great. Still, you know, good to have done. Always fun to find. Let's see. Oh, right! The friggin'... God. I gotta stop getting so distracted. We're gonna go to this shrine and then check out Scout's Hill. And try and see if we can get the memory. Okay. Whew. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. Oh, we can also, yeah, we could climb dueling peaks and uh, just break rocks for stuff. But, uh, could also circle around uh, the edge of Death Mountain. A lot of stuff there. Ooh, speaking of a lot of stuff. Wait, is there a talus around here? I feel like I've dealt with this before. Let's see, what do we got? Yeah, that's fine. Pretty good. Good. Yeah, okay. Man, it's weird being back in this part of the map. I feel like this is basically the starting area. Uh, it's like, oh yeah, it's a, it's a moblin, but it's, it's just a red one, so it's not even an issue. <laughs> There's the Great Plateau, where we met King Rome Bosphorus Hyrule. And he pretended to be literally anybody else, so we wouldn't regain our memory purely from our desire to punch him. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see, is this a place 
ever been before? Oh, this is a cute little ruined outpost telling a tragic story. Ah, of course. Bye bye. Alright, later. Alright, let's see. Scouts Hill, a little bit northeast maybe. Uh, Bridge of Hylia, we got that in the background. Okay, yeah, we're we're sort of in the right place. At least we're getting there. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, I think I got it. Okay. Yep, there it is. Okay. All right, you know what time it is. Memory time means sandwich break time. This will let up anytime soon. Your path seems to mirror your father's. Hmm. You've dedicated yourself to becoming a knight as well. Your commitment to the training necessary to fulfill your goal is really quite admirable. I see now why you would be the chosen one. Aw, she likes us now. What if... One day... You realized... That you just weren't meant to be a fighter. That the only thing people ever said was that you were born into a family of the Royal Guard, and so no matter what you thought, you had to become a knight. If that was the only thing you were ever told. I wonder then, would you have chosen a different path? Are we still talking about me, Zelda? <laughs> You know, it's kind of interesting. They don't really bring up Link having a family super often. Maybe it's one of those things that gets depressing the more you think about, like, hey, if you're getting infinitely reincarnated, but all your loved ones aren't, you know. <laughs> Maybe a reason why people like Wind Waker so much, because there's a lot of focus put on, um, uh, Link's, excuse me, sir, uh, Link's family and, you know, his sister and their grandma. Right, let's just see what's down here. <laughs> is Link an orphan? Well, he sure is now. It's been a hundred years. It's another thing that's sort of ties in with uh, that thing I was saying earlier about how it's sometimes good to have little details that aren't filled in. Uh, so, like, I guess, spoiler alert, we know that, like, Link and Mipha have known each other for a while, since, like, before he became the champion, because, like, she she knew him when he was a little kid, and uh, was kind of surprised that he grew up faster than she did. Um, so there's kind of a question there of, like, how does Link know the Zora princess before, like, when his dad is just some royal guard and when he's, you know, just some kid? How, how did that friendship happen? And it just never comes up. Because why would it? Um, but it's just the kind of question that, you know, makes you feel like the world is bigger than just what you get to see, which is always a fun storytelling thing, you know? Like, it's good to explore a big world, but it's also good to make the world that you're exploring feel worth exploring. Alright, we gotta get some fucking rupees. Let's see, what are we doing? Um, I don't want to just get rid of that, because we already got the thing we needed. Um, hmm, hmm. Oh, we're pretty near Dueling Peaks. Let's just go right to the top. Uh, and then just sort of work our way down. Oh, 
Oh yeah, the Champion Diaries. That's a thing that that we could um, look into. I think they're added from the uh, Champions Ballot DLC, but they're just like physically located in the various, uh, well, you know, like Divine Beast areas. <laughs> we could see if we can find Ravali's um, diary. <laughs> Oh, he's not complaining about it this time. That's nice. All right, let's see. Yeah, all right, let's just get up there. See what we can do. Uh, oh, you know what? We should work for this one. It's higher up. Oh, now he's cold. Come on, bud. Well, that's okay. We have a hat for this. See? Everything's fine now. Alright, let's see. We want rocks. There they are. All right, let's see what we got. Ooh, good stuff in there. I suppose we could go and pick a fight with a Talus. I don't think we fought one yet in this run bit of a hoist, but, uh, might be worth it. Let's see. I know there's one on the Great Plateau, although I haven't found it in a while. Um, I know there's also one just sort of out from the Great Plateau. Uh, like, like on the road to Kakariko Village, it's pretty easy to just run into a talus, because that's what happened the first time I played. I had no idea what was happening. <laughs> I got squished a whole bunch by it. I didn't realize how you were supposed to attack it. Like, I think I figured out hitting the rock, but I didn't figure out hitting the rock with specific heavy weapons. Um, let's see. Oh, there's more down there. That's good. I, I, we gotta pick a talus and go to that one, because <clears throat> uh, if you guys give me too many directions, I won't know where to go. We could try and go do the Great Plateau one, actually. It could be fun. You said it's just outside the Shrine of Resurrection? See any more rocks? Oh yeah, there's one. Ooh, there's a few. Let's go. One by Kakariko, you could make it fight a guardian. Hmm, that's a terrifying prospect. Oh, and there is one on Dueling Peaks. Alright, which, uh... Hmm. Hmm. Alright. Got anything else? Yeah, sure. Huh, let's see. I think we're not at the level to fight an Igneo Talus. We don't have any of the Flamebreaker stuff that will stop us from catching on fire and dying. So that one's currently not an option. Ooh, hello. Nice. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm tempted to just go back to the Great Plateau and sort of look around. I don't think I've ever fought the uh, Great Plateau Talus before, so I'm kind of curious where it is. There are also the, yeah, the, there are islands off the coast of Lanayru that are named after, uh, like, Tingle and his brothers, I think, um, that also have pretty solid ore. Oh, yep, we hit 3k. Okay. Great. Well, now we definitely have to go and get a bunch of cash. Oh, just a second. Eh. Crying out loud. Okay. Okay. Anyway. Talus at Hopper Pond, you said. Okay. Perfect. It's basically the way we're facing anyway. Adventure! Uh, there's something really eerie about the Great Plateau. I think it's that nobody is up here. Like, literally nobody alive. Because, you know, there are uninhabited parts of Hyrule. But, like, the Great Plateau is a large, kind of solid, you know, there's nice stuff up here. There's some Bokoblins, but, you know, they're pretty weak sauce. You could get rid of them. And it just... Nobody's up here. Nobody gets up here. I guess nobody can climb it. It's just kind of weird to think about. That looks like you can set it on fire. Let's see. Do I have anything for that? Nope. Oh, okay. You can just do that. Cool. Never mind. Yeah. Uh -huh. Great. Anyway. Bye bye. All right. So we. Oh yeah, we've got a little ways to go. And this, it looks like people did camp out up here. But nobody lives here, you know? Which I guess makes sense. Uh, there's a lot of, like, deeply sacred stuff up here, so I... I understand why, but... It's just kind of weird to think that, like, oh yeah, we... We stuck Link in here a hundred years ago in the Shrine of Resurrection, which is sealed underground, basically. Like, nobody knows it's there. People might come up here to camp. They have no idea he's down there. It doesn't matter. Um... I don't know. The Great Plateau just feels weird in a way that I kind of really like. Excuse me, sir. Ah, he got away. That's okay. Hmm. That's a lot of rocks. Ha <laughs> ha, there he is. Oh, sneaky, sneaky, my friend. Well, <laughs> real quick. <laughs> Great. Nothing ventured. Oh, clever. Look at all these mushrooms they would make you get. Whoop! Oh boy, okay. What the? What the? Oh my god, I'm sorry. I don't know what just happened. Uh, my screen just went dark. If I had to guess, I would guess that my capture card just glitched. Um, just a second. Okay. Okay, we're okay now. Sorry. Uh, basically, the way my capture card works is that it, it plugs into my computer and the computer uh, powers the capture card. Which basically means that it needs to, uh... Oh, easy. It needs to get power from my computer in order to show the... Whoop. Uh... Whoop. 
in order to send the data from my Switch to my TV, it needs to get through the computer. And that means that if the USB connector jiggles just a little bit and the connection breaks, uh, I won't be able to see what's happening on... Oh, sweet, a tree nut. I won't be able to see what's happening on the screen because the power won't be working. <laughs> but I think we're good now. Jesus. Oh, you got me, bud. Anyway, we're fine now, and the stream is still going, so we're all good. Sorry for the scare, <laughs> and for getting blatted by a rock when nobody can see me. Anyway, yeah, uh, so just to make sure everything's good, uh, if we're good, slap a tater in the chat. You know how to do. Sweet, Amber. Gimme, give gimme. Give Alright, well, let's see. Do I have any better weapons for this? Mm. Doesn't look like it. I should probably just. Oh, okay, whatever. Come on, buddy. One more. Damn it, Link. Can't get the ass. Just, just book it, bro. Just book it. <laughs> Woo! Close one. All right. And just so I know how the stream worked, if you had that weird black, uh, if the screen went black for you guys too, uh, put like, put like a banana in the chat if that happened. Link, for God's sake! <laughs> it's one more hit! Okay, thank you. Jesus. Okay, so you guys saw that too. I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad it didn't break the stream. I I'm glad everything's fine. I'm glad I didn't die stupidly in a way that nobody could see. Whew! Everything really worked out okay. It's mean that they have all these tantalizing mushrooms around where the talus is. Alright, well that was fun. Let's see what we got now. Um, oh, that's Death Mountain peeking through the woods over there looking deeply ominous. Oh, you know what? I've been here... I mean, obviously I've been here before. I've been on the Great Plateau before. But I've been in this area because when you're doing the Champion's Ballad, uh, they make you deal with this part with the one-hit obliterator. Fellas, I'm not in the mood. <laughs> Back off! Take a hint! Alright, we should go sell these. And we should see if we can find Rivali's diary. Yeah! Let's go do that! Alright, where's Rito Village? There it is. Oh, we're at 3.5k, very nice. Whew. Okay. But yes, the um, 3k goal is to go by the house. We will do that, uh, but we need to get 3k rupees in order to do that, and getting rupees is hard. So we're going to sell what we have, and we are also going to see if we can find Rivali's diary, because I know he has one. And I think, since we beat the Divine Beast, we can even find it. Uh, I, think, I think it's supposed to be in, like, Teba's house or something? Yeah! Howdy, bro, we should talk, you know, when we did that thing. Aw, shucks. Thanks, Teba. Aw. Aw, this is cute. Alright, where's the diary? Gimme, 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 gimme. Wait, does it only appear during the Champion's Ballad? 
All right. Chat, people in the know. If Rivali's diary only appears in the Champion's Ballad quest line, put an apple in the chat. Please and thank you. Oh, I can also check the Elder's house. Might be a good idea. Hello, excuse me, sir. Just chilling. Don't mind me. Looking for books and goss. Okay, doesn't look like it. Because cause here's what I think. I think this, this conspicuous empty spot on the table is where something goes. Yeah, all right. Thanks, chat. So that means I think we need to feed all four divine beasts before we can read his diary. That's a shame. But you better believe we'll get there. Oh, hello. Hey, you were the jerk, right? Oh, cool. Awesome. All right, good to know. Good talk, buddy. All right, let's go sell some of our shit. Let's try to go sell some of our shit. Where the hell is the store? What am I doing? Oh, okay, all right, good. We got this. Whew. Hello. Whoops. Damn it. I didn't want to talk to the baby. Hello. Please tell me you buy stuff. Slippery Falcon. Awesome. All right. Let's see what we got. <sighs> um, we could sell a good chunk of our gems. Uh... Okay. <laughs> Pretty good. Get some of these opals out of the way. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Let's uh let's just get rid of four of these. Okay, all right. We're nearly there. Okay. Awesome. We're good. Bit of a hoist. We want jewels for later things, but because uh, we're not doing anything in the Gerudo area yet, we don't need them just yet. All right. Let's go buy our house, baby. We're not doing the Thunder Camel. I made a solemn vow. We're not doing the Thunder Camel until I get the Master Sword because Thunderblight can't knock it out of your hand. Okay, fantastic. Let's go buy our house. Oh, wait, I don't think Bolson's there. Damn it. Ah, uh, whatever, we can still hang out. We can also go for more taluses. With this taste of sledgehammer we have. And we can get some cooking done. We can get some resting in. Okay. You know, it's very important to keep up your strength when you're adventuring out into survival. <sighs> yeah. Let's see. The next Divine Beast we do should probably va be Varuta. Um, in fact... So 5k, we get the Master Sword. What we could also do is uh, 10k, we go and do Varuta. Maybe next time that we stream. Um, I think that sounds like a solid idea. Because Varuta's not... Like, there's some complicated stuff to do uh, to, to set it up. It's not too bad. Um, 
mostly getting to Zora's domain is kind of the pain in the ass, but we should be able to do that not without too much trouble. Um, yeah, yeah, I think we'll make that the goal. So 10k, we're gonna go do Varuta, the, the Zora's domain questline with Mifa, uh, and that would be the goal for next time. And the, there's a Lionel we have to deal with, so perhaps for a further incentive, it could be that uh, <laughs> that I have to fight the Lionel instead of just sneaking around him. Anyway, <clears throat> I do think Va Meadow has kind of the, like, shortest run-up, as it were. Like, you only have to do the flight range thing to prove your worth, and then it's like, it's fine. The Zora's Domain one, getting there is a chore, uh, because it's raining, so you can't climb, and the route that you're supposed to take is a huge pain. Uh, and then when you get there... There's like this guy, he's like, oh, I hate you. You suck, actually. So you have to deal with him and his bad attitude. So that's good. Um, anyway, I mean, spoilers. We'll deal with that when we deal with it. But for now, 5k, we're going to go to the Lost Woods, deal with that, acquire the map. Oh, <laughs> hello, sir. Excuse me. Hello. Hi. Morning. Sorry, I'm a little awkwardly close. I'll shell out. Give me my house. Talk about Studley. Aw, thanks. <laughs> ah, there we go. Terrytown is now officially underway. Ta-da! Our house in the middle of Hyrule. So we could uh, put a weapon here if we wanted to. Be like, hey, remember that time I killed the Lionel? Pretty neat. Um, but what I really want is a bow display so I can get rid of Ravali's thing. Mm. Hi. Here in land. Okay. What's up, bro? Yes. Come again? Don't worry about it. Anyway, what? It's <laughs> pretty far. Yeah. Well, good luck. Okay. All right, bye. Oh, wow. Thanks, Griff Falcon, for donating $500 to Earthquake Relief. We just passed 4K. I don't remember if we had a 4K goal. Uh, all right. Bye, bro. See you later. There he goes. Out of my life forever. So that's the Terrytown side quest. Hey, Bolson, please give me a weapon mount. God damn it. <laughs> I feel so judged. Oh my god. Oh, okay, thanks. <laughs> I don't even have a hundred rupees. Everything is so expensive. Hey, should we go find another talus? That was really profitable last time. Really good one. Let's see. We did hit 4k, so I feel like I, uh, I owe you guys something fun milestone-wise. Let's see. Let's, uh... I know there's one on the way from the Great Plateau to Dueling Peaks, because I've accidentally run into it before, so... Oh, there's one nearby. Okay. Where is the nearest talus to where we are right now? One right outside Hateno. That's a good sign. Uh, let's just go this way, then. Whoops. Oh yeah, there's some other stuff over there, but we don't need to deal 
that. I wonder if we can just use the camera thing again to sort of be like, hey, buddy. Anything interesting? That's not popping up just yet. Okay, by the waterfall. Oh, by that waterfall? The really big one? That makes sense. Wow, so majestic. So beautiful. Oh, hello. What's up, bro? Hey. What? Oh. What? <laughs> hey, question for you. What have you got? Oh, right. I have absolutely no money. Maybe you... Oh, damn it. Ah! No. All right. Bye, Telly, the dashing treasure hunter. I gotta go fight something and get money. <laughs> Fat stacks of cash. Okay. There's something... Okay, so we, we've kind of mentioned that, like, Hateno Village is where Link is from. Like, very clearly. But what, the fact that, like, that was our house... That's very canonical. It's like, oh yeah, that house used to belong to somebody, went off to the castle a hundred years ago to become a knight, never came back. That's Link. Link went off to become a knight, became the chosen one, got assigned to Zelda's personal bodyguard, never came back, clearly never wrote. Um, oh, hold on. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, you thought you were slick. All right. Anyway, so Hateno Village is Link's home. Fort Hateno is... The place that Link fell in battle. Uh, which means it seems likely that what happened is when everything went to shit, he basically said, okay, fuck this actually, grabbed Zelda and dipped to Hateno, the one place that he wanted to defend, basically. Or the one place that he thought he could. Which is sad. Uh, because... It was one of those impossible odds things. We're going to find his memory about that uh, much later, once we get the rest of them. Um, but if you look at it narratively, it's like, okay. <laughs> the way things played out during the Calamity, Link did not go and fight Ganon. He grabbed Zelda and he fucking booked it back to Hateno to try and keep it safe. And it didn't go super hot. Oh, this is very well. Come on, buddy. Whoa! Oh, for crying out loud, bro. You have one hit left in you! Just take the hint! Damn it! Link! Anyway, but the only reason why Hateno Village is kind of still idyllic is because it was never destroyed. Uh, and it was never destroyed because Link and Zelda went there. <laughs> Everything else is super fucked up or very far away from Hyrule Castle. God damn it. Okay, awesome. That was fun. Huh. All right. Nice. Nice. That wasn't even that bad. You guys got any more? <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, huh. Anyway, yeah, so, like, if you kind of look at it, everywhere else was pretty much ravaged when the Calamity broke out. Potato Village was behind the fort, and the fort only held because, you know, our heroes were there. <laughs> and they were only there because it was Link's home. And that's the only reason it's still kind of a thriving little community that people travel to, because, you know, it didn't get absolutely wasted. Meteor field near Tabantha Stable. Where's Tabantha Stable? That's doing peaks. Lakeside, Highland. Foothill. <sighs> Akala. Oh yeah, we could also start the Terrytown quest by going over there. Oh, right, there it is.
Okay. Way west on the edge of the map is a crater with a rare talus. Ooh. Crater would be cool. Huh. <sighs> but yeah. <laughs> That's another part of this game that I like because it doesn't get spelled out linearly exactly. Like... The way that the game does the memories is super interesting to me, because you can discover them in any order. Uh, and... Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, right, the pants. Hold on. God, you are so needy. There we go. Jeez. Uh, whoa. <laughs> We're eye level with Vomito's targeting reticle. That's fun. Um, let's see. Are we in the... Cr Hang on. You guys are making it sound like we're in the wrong place. Hmm. A crater with a talus. Does kind of imply that it's an alien. All right, let's see. You guys said, buy the Tabantha stable. Oh, that's the, that's the snowfield stable. Where the hell is the... Have we discovered it? Is there a stable, like, up here? Oh, no, it's probably down here. Yeah, okay. I see what's happening here. My bad. Okay. Great. So, there's, like, a crater field, you said? Exciting for that. could also get that blessing shrine up there. Wait, do we have any zap arrows or lightning arrows? We do. We could actually go do that one. May as well, right? It's a free spore, but turns into a free heart or a stamina vessel. I guess we need to get over there, but let's see. Do we have anything closer to that that we could um, warp to? All right, we'll deal with that later. We'll deal with that later. You guys said a crater field. We're gonna find a crater field. Are we talking like, like out in this area? Cause you guys are saying right on the edge of the map. Oh yeah, the, the discussion of like what exactly went down during the calamity is interesting to me because the the idea that like Link ran away is a little bit it feels like oh that's not courageous and it's like it kind of depends on what exactly you think his priorities were uh, because the thing that that is really interesting to me about this version of Link and really all of them is that he is really, really loyal to Zelda and keeping her safe. And this entire time, it's like Zelda's been bound to a destiny that she doesn't want, never chose, and doesn't think she's capable of, ah, doesn't think she's capable of doing. And it's like, okay, we know how this is going to go. You have the sword that seals the darkness. She's the princess with the power. You guys are going to defeat Ganon and everything's going to go great. And then Ganon does something completely unexpected and all the Divine Beasts get repurposed and Zelda still hasn't unlocked her power. And it's pretty clear that what happened is Link was like, okay, this isn't going to work. Uh, and just got her the hell out of there. Like, going to the castle wouldn't have helped. That's like the first place that fell. Ah, found ya. And you sort of look at what happened. You Like, we don't know what he was thinking, you know. We never really remember that part. We remember the events of the situation, but we don't know what happened. Exactly. But it's very clear that what happened... Oh, what the fuck? Oh, okay. It's not actually that weird looking. Anyway, so, I don't know. I think it's interesting. Uh, 
it's pretty clear that this version of Link and Zelda have this sort of like, hey, our magical destiny kind of sucks actually attitude, which I think is very interesting, or at least Zelda has that attitude, and Link is just kind of like supportive of the fact that she's not happy about it, and whoa, doesn't think she can do it, and all that jazz. Oh, sweet. So bad. Um, I mean, we'll get that memory eventually. Uh, but, like, the analysis of it is interesting. And, uh... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I don't want to, like, get too far into, like, the fanfic zone with, oh, what was he thinking? You know, what was Zelda thinking? How did this situation go? But, like, it's pretty clear that the... A this is why... <laughs> this is why I'm so frustrated by what we got with Age of Calamity. Because we didn't get this. You know, we, we didn't get an actual exploration of what happened. Oh, hell yeah. That was clean. Uh, how it all went wrong. What decisions everybody made. Like, that could have been such a powerful thing. And instead we got the fanfic version where everything was fine. And it's like, cool, but I want to know what happened. This thing was a tragedy. I want to know what, what went wrong and who made what hard decisions. Like, at what point did Link and Zelda figure out, oh, we can't save the champions, you know? Alright. Well, we have a lot more rocks now. <laughs> and a cool Safflina. Whew! There's another Talus on the path to Rito Village. Ooh, goody, goody, goody. Then let's get back up there. Let's see, we're going the... yeah, we're fine. <sighs> anyway, yeah, so... I think... Part of the reason I'm excited for Tears of the Kingdom, and I'm kind of hoping that, uh we get some time with Zelda before the inciting incident happens, whatever it is, uh, is that it's going to give us more time with Link and Zelda to actually interact. Uh, because we only see it in memories. And it's, it's interesting. It's really interesting because the way Link is characterized in most games, he's a bit of a blank slate to sort of make room for whatever the player decides. Oh, for God's sake. Um, you know, he... He's generally kind of just generically heroic without much in the way of a personality. And there are only a few games where that's not true. Like, everyone talks about how in Wind Waker, you know, he clearly has a strong opinion about a lot of things that are happening and doesn't like them very much. Um, but this Link especially, like, he doesn't talk, he doesn't have his memories. Like, we get kind of outside views of him, and we get insights from Zelda's diary. Other than that, we don't really know much about the person we're playing as, because he doesn't know anything either. Um, and we sort of rediscover it at exactly the same rate, which is why the, the system of memory recovery, I think, is really solid in this game as a gameplay story integration thing, because that means we don't need to be informed of the backstory of this character. We're finding it out at the, exactly the same rate he is, which is cool. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think the, the character writing of the main character is not exactly why people like this game so much. Hey, this is more Skyward Sword era architecture. This is more stuff contemporary with the Forgotten Temple. More Loftwing designs, stuff like that. Ah. Whoops, hold on. I don't want to use that arrow. weapon, excuse me. Um, but yeah, I think there's this... Actually, you know, there's something you could sort of read into the whole, like, hey, you know, if Link ran away a hundred years ago to save Zelda, like, is that courageous? You know, does that fit the whole Trivers of Courage thing? And I think there's an interesting thing to be said about the fact that the way this game is built strongly encourages you to not 
charge headlong into battles you can't win. Like, the courageous thing to do is not to sprint headlong into the castle. It's to prepare and build up and, you know, sneak around sometimes. And I think that's an interesting way to frame it. It's like, you know, courage isn't being, you know, uh... I have to do this macho thing because if I don't, I'm not living up to this. It's like, hey, you know, the courageous thing is that you're doing this at all. <laughs> it's like, hey, I need you to single-handedly kill the god of evil, like, again. Um, so have fun with that, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. Sorry. I see an eyeball. I just gotta shoot it. You get to walk on Malice, that's not fair. Yeah, I kind of thought that might happen. Whoops. That's just real quick. Smush something that has extra hearts in it. <laughs> Whoop. Needed that. Oh boy. No! No! Get me off the malice! Woo! Oh, that's bad. Criminy guys. Okay, awesome. Now let's find out what was behind there. Oh, hello. Rivali's Gale is now ready. What? Neat. Nah, we want that. Uh, what's the worst thing I'm currently holding? I guess this. I guess? Yeah, it's not that good, and I have a frost spear anyway, so. See, I'd love to use a damn shield. The problem is it won't let me use a shield and a spear at the same time. <laughs> That's why I like one-handed weapons and why I get so mad that the game doesn't give me enough of them. That's also why I like getting the Master Sword. Alright, anyway. Anyway, yeah, so the, the way that they play Courage in this game and the way they characterize it and the way that that ties into the way Link you know, was before he lost his memory, I think is really interesting because it's pretty clear that it's like, hey, the courageous thing to do in this particular situation is probably not to go charging into the Divine Beasts on a suicide mission, but it is to protect the princess, you know, the most important person in this universe. The courageous thing to do is protect her with your life, not throw it away doing this unhelpful thing that wouldn't work. Um, and I think that's interesting. Oh, sweet. A rock. Oh, wait. Let's be efficient. Ooh! Yeah! Luminous stones. Those go for a pretty penny, and we get a bunch of them at once. Always good. Did we miss any? Can't tell. Anyway. Alright, let's see. You guys said there was another talus on the way up to Rito Village, I think? hang out on this edge of the map more often. Hi. 
I might have a chance at Dinral's scale in the Shrine of Power, too. Ooh, more luminous stones. All right, forget what else we were doing. Let's go get those. Whoops. Just... Dang it. Uh, this is not as totally radical as I thought it would be. Well, that's fine. Anyway. Nope. Sorry, sirs. Alrighty. Up we go. Anyway, yeah, I think the way they do the characterization in this game is really interesting. Uh, especially because we get so little of it, you know? Like, you know, the overworld obviously has a bunch of secondary characters that we can go talk to, but like, Link doesn't get to talk to any main characters except for in cutscenes and memories. Uh, because they're all dead, uh, except for Zelda. So it's just kind of... Um, It's it's complicated and it's it's impressive writing. What the? Oh, cool! There's like a little mini cave. Especially because they had to take a character who, you know, as mentioned, is a silent protagonist, blank slate for the protagonist, you know, the, the player, and be like, hey, this guy is like the main guy, and uh, his single-minded devotion to this character is canonically the only reason why the plot is happening and can happen. Uh, like, the only reason that any of this worked is because of the bond that Link and Zelda developed. For various reasons that we will explore as we get more memories. Um, and that's a hard thing to sell when, you know, one of the characters is a silent protagonist. <laughs> um, all right. Sign of Dinral. Nothing so far. I can't tell if I'm going in fully the wrong direction for this talus, but I'm sure you guys will tell me. <laughs> Everyone knows that video game backseat driving is the number one way to experience anything. Oh, I got like, excuse me. <laughs> it felt like overkill. Okay. Why are numbers happening in chat? Anything interesting going on? Ooh. Ooh. Wait. Oh, right. There are Guardian Skywatchers there. Okay. Well, nothing we need to deal with. To the road to Rito Village. Sort of. Let's see. I think that's. Ah. I see. Okay. Yeah, I got it. Just make sure. Yep. Alright, so we follow this road up, and I guess. We oh! Yeah, okay, we're gonna go around that. <laughs> I'll fight a Talus. I'll avoid a Skywatcher. I won't do both of those things at the same time. Okay. Up we go. Just sidling. Just chilling. Alright. Woo! Up we go. Almost. Come on, buddy. There we go. Awesome. One other thing that's pretty cool about the Champion's Ballad is uh, there are extra memories in it, but they aren't Link's memories. He is not in any of those memories. They are uh, memories of the Champions in time they spent with Zelda. Uh, 
So it's not entirely clear how Link gets access to them. There's some, there's some like, kind of weird psychic fuckiness happening that I think is great. I love it. Right, are we... Yeah, okay, we're going in the right direction. Rejoin with the road. Oh. Oh, I forgot there was a great fairy here. Ooh, and more than the stones. Heck yeah. And fairies, because I got my ass beat, so all the fairies respawn. All right, hold on. Got a lot of things we want to do here. All right, good. Excellent. We are not going to have financial problems for a while. that and no come back come back why are you so high up what are you doing yes okay good one why are they flying so high i don't understand ladies please <laughs> we're all on the same team here i wanted to defeat ganon and you want to help me defeat ganon when i get my ass beat It's all coming together. No, I don't want to do that. No! Shit! Come back! Damn it! Uh, everything's gotta be a goddamn ordeal. Fuck! Ah! Fine, whatever. What are we doing? Oh yeah, the Road to Rito Village. Okay, awesome. <laughs> Alright. I'm trusting you guys to tell me where the talus is supposed to be. Actually, I suppose it's not a bad thing if I just get ambushed by it. Sir. All right. Fine. Holy crap. Rude. Your behavior is very disappointing. Not in the mood, buddy. Oh, right. I should probably wear the pants that are better armor now that I'm not at risk of freezing to death. All right, yeah, we're fine. Anyway. So. Where's that talus you guys insist exists around here somewhere? Oh, found it. Okay, good. Thank goodness. I should probably also uh, eat some food. In the game. I'm fine in real life. All right, let's see. Adventure! Whoops, that never works out like I want it to. Oh, 
Oh, that nearly put me off the cliff. Oh, oh God. Link, Link, Link! Okay, we're fine. <laughs> Everything's good. Whew, close one up. Hey, buddy, I'm coming for you. Don't worry. Good shape. Anything interesting? Nope. Okay. Let's see. Uh, we are sitting still at... Oh, no! Come back! Fuck. Okay. Uh, we're sitting at 4.3k raised of our current goal of 5k, uh, which is all going to, as mentioned, um, earthquake relief uh, for Turkey and Syria, which, in case you guys haven't heard... Got hit by like a magnitude 6.4 aftershock yesterday, which on top of all the other stuff is just really rough. Um, so anything that you can donate is good. Uh, you know, it's it's one of those things where like th there is no wrong amount to help out with. Like this is going to Direct Relief, which is uh, a charity that is independent from the Turkish government. I saw some people a little worried about that, um, because, oh, oh no, I think that rock might just be a weird rock and not like some ancient ruin texture. Anyway, um, but yeah, Direct Relief is an independent charity and also, what the hell? This is a really strong wind. Uh, very, very solid. They do very good work. Um, so, oh my God, damn it, Link. <laughs> anyway. Huh, what was I saying? Uh, yes. The charity is a uh, very, very worthy cause. We've basically just been uh, fundraising for them since we started doing these shrines because they're really fun and I'm having a great time. And it's also nice to be doing some good with just dicking around in a really nice video game. So, yeah. And if we hit 5k, uh, I'm going to go to the Lost Woods and get the Master Sword. So... Because we now have enough hearts for that, which is exciting. Oh, holy shit. Uh, we just went... Oh, yes, thank you to Dave Kitchen for donating $500 and getting us almost all the way there. Uh, <laughs> boy, I should probably sell some of this stuff now. Um, let's just pop back to Rito Village and take care of this. Well, okay, that didn't take real long. Uh, give me just a sec. I'm going to let Blue know that we need to raise the goal... Just a sec. Okay. Fantastic. Anyway, we're gonna sell a few of these things, and then we're gonna go to the Lost Woods, baby. Oops. Come on, man. There we go. What the? Hello? I'm sorry, person in distress. Uh, what's wrong? Hello? Oh, for crying out loud. Uh, no. I, mm, mm, we'll check it out. Bye. <laughs> okay. But we are heading to the Lost Woods. We're, we're staying on task. We don't need to sell stuff just yet because we don't need money for anything just yet. But we are going to spend money on a bow mount later so that we can put away Revali's bow so that it's not taking up space in my inventory when I don't want to use it. Oh boy. Alright, up 
we go. That's why I also need to get dragonflies for that other side quest. God, this game has a lot going on. But that's why I like it so much. Hello, is this Warbler's Nest? Oh, thank god. Okay. Hello? He hello? Hello? Uh-huh. Oh, god. God damn it! We're not doing this one. Um, yeah, we're just gonna go back there and be like, hey, she's fucking fine, and then we're gonna go to get the Master Sword. Yeah, I'm not doing the the needy little bird side quest chain. We're not doing that. <laughs> I mean, I'm, we're not doing that right now. Oh my god. We hit 6k as well. Well, now I really have to go get the Master Sword. And as mentioned, 10k we're going to do Varuda, although we might do Varuda next time. She's fine. Calm down. Oh, heck yeah, 50 bucks. All right, bye. All right, let's see where. Okay. Oh boy. All right. Anyway, so we're gonna get the master sword, and then if we hit 10k, the next time I do a stream, we're gonna do the Varuta quest line. Which I think will probably take us longer than Va Meadow did. Because Va Meadow, we'd already done some of the lead up to it. Va Ruta, we haven't even met Sidon yet. So we're going to need to do that. Um... Oh boy, we're close. We're close. Alright, it's this nightmare. Well, we're not touching that. Also, I feel like the Va Meadow quest line is probably the quickest of the Divine Beasts, with the least preamble. Like, getting the Rito gear so you don't freeze is probably the most complicated prerequisite. The archery range thing is incredibly forgiving. Which is funny, because the version that you do in Champion's Ballad is the exact opposite. Uh, not only do you need to do five shots, uh, you need to do five shots in uh, without getting out of bullet time in between. So you need to break five targets without stopping, catching an updraft, refilling your stamina wheel. It's brutal. And it's not immediately obvious that's what you have to do. Because I, I sure didn't figure it out for a while. Um, and when I looked it up, there were people like, I don't understand why this isn't working. <laughs> Again, it, it's the difficulty jump from the regular gameplay to the Champion's Ballad gameplay, because the regular gameplay is pretty forgiving a lot of the... Uh-oh. Oh, it's happening. But yeah, the, the regular gameplay is pretty forgiving. Three minutes to break five targets with all the time in the world in between is pretty chill. Boy, that's a lot of ravens. Okay. Now I believe the gist... Let me see if this works. Can I set you on fire? I cannot. Okay. Um, be good to have an actual weapon out. Uh, huh, so basically, well, I'll just show you guys what happens if you fuck around in the Lost Woods. We're sprinting for it, baby. Whoa, no, what happened? Hmm, how strange. 
We just got kind of warped back to where we started. So basically, there's a route through the Lost Woods, but it's invisible. It's the safe way to go. But you can kind of tell because it's the way the wind is blowing. These braziers are a clue. If I had a torch, we could follow the cinders from that. I don't have anything flammable, though, so instead we're just gonna do our best. So, funny story about the way the game is laid out. Um, there's a place called Mekar Island, uh, which is very close to the one of the edges of the Lost Woods. Um, and I went to check out Mekar Island at one point, and it's... Uh, <laughs> I didn't want to be on Mekar Island after a while. Mekar Island is kind of a nightmare. It spawns a bunch of nightmare bad guys. It's, it's just really scary. Uh, so I went to the closest spur of land by Paraglider, and then I voided out, and there was a creepy little chuckle, and I uh, ended up back where I started on Mekar Island. And I was like, what's happening? Am I trapped forever? Uh, the short answer is that the closest spur of land to Mekar Island is the outer wall of the Lost Woods. And if you get into the Lost Woods a way you're not supposed to, um, ah, there we go. The game will void you out and put you back wherever you were, which in my case was on Mekar Island. So I just literally thought, like, is there something wrong? How, why am I trapped? I don't understand. Um, oh boy, let's see if this works. Okay, so far. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Huh. Oh, okay. I see. Anyway, yeah, it's pretty spooky. I think the first time I got through this, I just followed kind of the way the particulates in the air are moving. Um, which is also a way to do it, but the torch makes it a lot more obvious. Oh, sick. Treasure chest. I see no way this can go wrong! Oh. Oh, great. So worth it. It's fine. We can just follow the particulates. This away. Yep, still good. This is a pretty effective way to add this sort of puzzle to an aggressively open world game. Like... Well, you can fuck around, it just won't go well for you. <laughs> oh. Shrine nearby, you say. Oh. Oh, I think we made it. Yeah! Yeah! Ooh. Oh, look at that. Oh, baby. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, it's idyllic. Oh my god, hello all the Corex. Hello, hello, friends. Yeah, where's Hestu? Yeah, there he is, my man! Hestu! The Master Sword can wait. I need you to expand my inventory, please. Yes, I brought you Korok seeds. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Need 
more shields. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. Alright, let's just get this all out of the way. Sorry, it has to. I'm on a mission, okay? I, I'm taking care of this now, and then I gotta get the Master Sword. <laughs> there is no amount of money you guys could donate that would make me go and get all 900 Koroks. There's not even a point in getting all 900 Koroks. After a while, you just can't expand your inventory. It's only 450? That's so funny. That makes it even more useless. Guys, I'm skipping Hestu's dance for you, okay? I <laughs> I came here on a mission that you guys, you know, donated $6,000 to get to. It would be rude of me to subject you to the same thing over and over again. a different color depending on which ex which uh, inventory slot you're expanding. All right, one more. Good. Okay, we're nearly out. I think I think this is the last one we can get right now. This one I'll let the dance play out. Yeah, what a trooper. All right. Bye bye All right, back to business. Huh. We just... God, this game is so fucking pretty! All right. Oh. What could that be? Hell yeah. Oh. Link. You are our final hope. The fate oh. of Hyrule rests with you. Bits of that memory we hadn't seen before. Oh. Yeah! What is that? Did I doze off again? Hmm? Well, well. It's you. It's always me, you baby. You finally decided to return. I was dead, Better thank you. Better late than never. After 100 years, I'd nearly given up hope on seeing you again. Even my patience has limits, you know. You guys are being very rude, considering that I died that and was in a place called the Shrine of Resurrection me, for a hundred years. Have no recollection oh, of me, better late however, than never. You come back from the dead, see how easy I it is. I have watched over Hyrule since time immemorial. Many have referred to me over the ages as the Deku Tree. That is the weapon created by the ancient goddess. The sword that seals the darkness that only the chosen knight can wield against the calamity Ganon. Believe it or not, it was actually you who wielded that sword 
one hundred what? years ago. What? No way! That thing Rivali wouldn't but shut I up must about. I warn you to take extreme caution. The sword stands as a test to anyone who would dare attempt to possess it. As you are now, I cannot say whether you are worthy or not. If you sought to free the sword in any sort of weakened state, you would surely lose your life where you stand. He would straight up kill me. <laughs> Best of luck, young one. Thanks, bro. Great attitude. All right. Sword's gonna judge me, baby. Fee's gonna decide if I'm ready. Alright. Let's do it, baby. Let's see if I counted correctly. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yes, it's here! At last, my arm is complete! Fuck yeah! Your master will come for you. Hmm? Until then, you shall rest safely here. Although the slumber of restoration will most certainly deprive him of his memories, please trust me when I say that I know he will arrive before you yet again. If I may be so bold, what is it that you are planning to do next, princess? The Master Sword. I heard it speak to me. It seems that my role is unfinished. Princess Zelda, I feel like there is a 90% chance you can go fuck shit up. I sense there is great strength in your dedication. Great Deku Tree, I ask of you, when he returns, can you please relay this message? Tell him I- Now then, words intended for him would sound much better in the tones of your voice, don't you think? Aww. Aww, she's so cute. <laughs> yes. So my theory on how Link is seeing this memory when, as you pointed out, he doesn't, like, he, he wasn't there for this. He was in the Shrine of Resurrection, like 98% dead. Uh, I think the sword is remembering and Link is getting it from there. Desktop background. Yeah. Yeah, he definitely got that memory from the sword. Hell yeah. What you just saw happened where you stand. 100 years ago. After you were separated from the sword, the princess thought to bring it here where she knew that it would be safe under my watch. <laughs> she continues to fight, trapped deep within the confines of Hyrule Castle. I'm sorry, this is very serious. I just thought Her of something incredibly cursed. Her heart cascades with faith that you will return. 
She has a smile like the sun. Oh. I would do much to feel its warmth upon me once again. Oh. Okay, so the curse thing. It's like, yeah. Well, like, what what would the Deku Tree do if someone came to get the sword? Like, he's like, oh, it would be safe under my care, and it's like, yeah, but like, what would you do? And then I was like, <laughs> you know those jokes about like, what does Diglett look like underground? And it's like, what if it was like a really buff, just thing with like a little Diglett as the head? So like, what if the Deku Tree? <laughs> Just had this massive buff body under there, and if someone came to steal the sword, just like a hand just like rips out of the ground, <laughs> just slaps it away. <laughs> God, <laughs> I think that's the worst thing I've ever thought of. I want that fan art on my desk by one day. All right, let's see. Oh, there's a shrine around here! There's a shrine around here that I really, really need to get. Oh, hello. You got a side quest? <gasps> Dang right, I'm the hero. Oh, <gasps> thank you! What? Sure. Oh. <sighs> Alright, if I find one, I'll let you know. Hello? What's up, kiddo? Yeah. Oh my gosh, you guys are so cute! Yeah. Oh! Yeah. Right on my Instagram, baby. bucks see shooting blue peas is what they are for people got tilted at me for that last time thanks peeks you're adorable there's the shrine there's the shrine there's the shrine let me in let me in All right, so we have accomplished our 5k goal. The Master Sword is ours, and the Great Deku Tree told us not to go and immediately try and deck Ganon with it. Which is probably smart. Let's see. Oh no, is this golf? Tell me this isn't golf. Um, well, yes, as mentioned, the 10k goal is, uh, and this doesn't need to be met now. This can be met uh, after the stream is over when it's a VOD. Uh, but for the... Oh, no. Oh, okay, it's this one. Um, for uh, for the 10k goal, we're going to start the Varuda thing. Uh, in fact, if we reach 10k before I'm about to like end the stream, I can probably go and start the Varuda quest, like getting Sidon uh, dealt with, you know, making my way up to uh, the Zora's Domain. So that's, that's the... Um, that's the 10k goal. Uh, let's see. So the, the gist of this shrine is that there are these constellation patterns and these like counters and constellations on the wall. Took me a while to figure out what the fuck you're supposed to do. You just have to count how many of each constellation are in the wall. So there's uh, five of those little L-shaped ones. Let's just go. <clears throat> Two, three, it looks like. Yeah, okay. Sure, why not? But yeah, so so our uh, our 10k goal is starting Varuta. I'm I want to think of something to do for 7k, considering we hit 6k incredibly quickly, which is amazing. Um, let's see, that big funky one. That's uh, looks like there's just one of those. Okay. Hmm. Well, 
Oh, we can kind of emergent gameplay it. You know, once I'm out of uh, the Korok Forest. Oh, we can futz around. I know there's shrine quests in the Korok Forest. I also have heard they're kind of annoying, but it uh, doesn't mean we won't do them. Is that it? We good? Yeah! Sweet. <laughs> Stairs are for nerds. Alright, what's the haps, my dude? Am I missing anything? Nah, we're fine. Whoop. Wow, that was pretty impressive, Link. Alright, let's do it properly this time. Thank you. <laughs> Let's see. We can go around and talk to more Koroks. They also have like a little shop and an inn, or like a, a place where you can sleep. It's really cute because the Koroks don't really do any of that stuff. They exclusive, they just set it up for us. They're like, humans need beds, right? <laughs> we made you a bed. It's like, oh, you're so fucking cute. <laughs> I can't protect them all. Ooh, 7k, we would start the Terrytown quest. Which basically just means we head up to the Akala region, uh, and we find Hudson at the place where there's that goddess statue all by itself. Yeah, that could be good. Perfect. <clears throat> oh, and for those curious, uh, oh, excuse me. Right. Yeah, we're not doing that. <laughs> well, we're not doing that for less than something nice and uh, prodigious in the donation category for charity and earthquake relief. Because I'm not doing the friggin' Trials of the Sword right now. Oh. Oh, damn it! No, I was just going back to say hi! No, it hasn't! The time has not come! Stop that! No, <laughs> no, I'm not. Stop it. Nope. Later's. God damn it. Man, they really fucking strong arm you, huh? Hello. You're so cute. This is adorable and also nightmarish. I'll do it. They can't be as bad as the Master Trials. <laughs> Geo, God damn it. Okay. All the shrines in Korok Forest, so you can be considered a real grown up. Trial one! Trial of Second Sight? Uh-huh. 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 Okay. Oh! That's convenient. They're marked on the map. Just how I like it. Oh, hold on. Let's see if I can sell this stuff. Yay! 
Hello. Gentle shoppy. I want to sell. I would like you to take all of the amber I knocked off of these giant rock monsters before. Oh my god, I have so much of it. Yes, yes! Oh, yeah, I'll take that, thank you. Oh, fantastic. Oh, I might be able to get the house, like, fully furnished pretty quick, actually. He has a single hearty radish. That's adorable. Okay. All right. All right. Great. Let's go do some Korok trials, I guess. Did we figure something out for 7k? I don't think so. Um, whoops. Oh god! Sorry! <laughs> Alright, let's see. Ooh, hello, Lexaria. That's interesting. Alright, great. That's not very much information. Oh well, we'll go anyway. Let's see what happens. Stay, stay away from Master Trials. I suppose for 7k we could try the Master Trials. <laughs> but I warn you, I'm very bad at them. Oh yeah, 7k Terrytown. 7k we're gonna go start the Terrytown quest. I like that there are Koroks that just disappear when I get close. It's very cute. Oh boy, we're back in the spooky zone. I kind of expected this to be more complicated. Hello? <laughs> Is that even loud? Who cares? Of course. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> I've got a cryptic little hint for you. Ah, oh, they're so cute. <clears throat> okay. Great. Fantastic. Let's see. Doesn't look like there's any wind here. Ah. Uh -huh. There we go, see? Some of these trees have big old mouths with big old chunks of metal in them. All right, where's the next one? Aha, there he is. All right, what else we got? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. How are the regular Koroks supposed to- Excuse me, sir? Oh, oh my god, the knockback on that thing. Anyway, back to not getting lost in the woods, if I can help it. Alright, hungry tree. Second hungry tree. Hungry, hungry tree? I think we're going the right way. <sighs> okay, awesome. Am I missing anything? Is just it. Hello? Oh my god! Excuse me. <laughs> Using 
the Master Sword for this feels like a crime. Jeez. Then again, I guess it is one in the morning. Where did I pick up a rusty broadsword? I don't need a rusty broadsword. Huh. Okay, I see. That's not enough. Your Majesty. Blah. <laughs> Great. Oh. Ooh, interesting. Okay, cool. Hmm. I do not have a Korog leaf. But that's okay. I've got something more important. Yeah! Oh, there, there's a Korog leaf under the water. Well, uh, you know. I've already invested. I guess I could have also Revali's Gailed over, but who needs it? Howdy, howdy. What does this one say? Interesting. All right, hold on. Thank you. I need you to get up on the thing. Thank you. Okay, awesome. I don't understand why you guys are counting in chat. That's close enough. Get it the rest of the way from Oh, come on. There we go. Sheesh. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Okay, awesome. <clears throat> All right. What are we thinking? Combat trial? You guys are filling my chat with numbers. Uh, a reminder that we are fundraising for earthquake relief in Turkey and Syria. Uh, and if we hit 10k uh, before the end of the stream, I'll go and start the Varuda quest. And you know, if we hit 10k like when it's, this is a VOD, uh, the next time I stream, I'll go straight for the Varuda quest line because we started the stream off by doing Vameto, and that went really well. Um, ah, just a blessing shrine. That makes sense. Um, and if we hit 7k, I'm going to go start the Terrytown quest, which is just um, dealing with... It, well, it's, it's a really long quest line, uh, but we can start it pretty easily and make incremental progress. And it, it's pretty cool. It sort of encourages us to explore all over the map, which is uh, always fun. In my... Ooh, nice. In my other game, uh, I started the Terrytown quest pretty late, so it didn't really occur to me that if you, if you start it early enough... Uh, there's sort of, it gives you a really good incentive to like explore all the different regions of the world, you know, look for Gorons, look for Zora, find a Gerudo with the right name, which is all just kind of cool.
here. Nice. Additional spores. Oh, I could get more stamina. I could get more hearts. Let's see. I don't think there's a goddess statue in the Korok Forest. Yeah, I'll just go back to the main one. And... Let's see, is there anything else interesting to explore, or will I just get lost in the woods? Well, it can't hurt to explore. You know, may as well try it out. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's about what I expected. <laughs> Did it. Yeah, I got a giant core. Thanks, buddy. All right. Back we go. Let's see. So there is a statue in the Lost Woods. I'm not sure where it is, though, but... Oh, somewhere inside the Deku Tree. That makes sense. We can actually look for it. Thing is we're back, so it may as well. I love these glowing seed pod things. It's such a good design. Let's see. Where would it be? Ah, this is where they made a bed. It's very cute. Vegetarians everywhere! That's my face! God, that's so fucking cute. Oh, there's a goddess statue literally right next to me. Well, I found it! God, that's so fucking cute. Aww. Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, I'll definitely sleep later when it's not 5 a.m. Hey, girl. I do like getting more hearts, but I think I should get more stamina. See you, girl. Boy. Try time. Let's do it. I think I'm going the wrong way. I'm not entirely sure where the right way is. What's up, bro? Test of wood? Huh. Some say it's the hardest of the Korok trials. I bet they do. What? I'm ready. Sword, bow, and shield equipped the whole time. Oh, beans. Hold on. Alright, what do we got? Uh, oh. <laughs> Keep picking up random bad weapons. Alright, we're fine. I'll take your stuff, thank you. What the? 
Is it a time trial? Squeaker, squeak, squeak. There you. <laughs> Cry out loud. <laughs> Whoop! I'm a little hard on his sword. setting this fire in the forest is fine. Oh, sweet. So many baked apples. Whoop. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Whew, close one. All righty. Oh my god! I didn't want fire arrows. Why? Okay. Oh, damn it, Link! Screw it. Maybe we'll just cheese it. Maybe that's the easy solution. <laughs> Absolutely not. Whoops. Oh, crap! <laughs> Sorry. Thought it was water. Wasn't water. Oh, no! <sighs> okay, fine. Alright, Operation Cheese It is a go. You know what I can probably do? What the? Huh. Easy, easy. Oh, beans. Okay. Phew. All right. Nice. All right, where am I going again? that friggin' shrine. Oh, there it is. Okay. Alright, Vervali, you got another one in ya? <laughs> Thanks, bud. Hey! Somehow I don't think I was supposed to do it this way. If you ever wanna... Yeah, thanks, man. I'll, I'll really think about that. <laughs> Alright, let me in. Whew. Oh, right. 
Alrighty. I think we're gonna do the other shrine quest just because. Um, and then let's see. We got the Master Sword. And the Lost Woods is a little bit odd as far as regions go. It's it's very walled off. It doesn't really let you do the open world roaming thing because it sort of just voids you out if you go too far. So it might be good to, to scooch on out of here. Maybe give some of these to Robbie, who I'm sure would, would absolutely love all these big ancient parts. Oh, and upgrading the runes. That's another thing we can do. I get to keep keep the Korok set. Hmm. All right, let's just warp back, make things easier on ourselves. <laughs> oh yeah, and then we can go and just give Bolson a bunch of money to finish pimping out our house. Hmm. Lionel fight is a tempting offer, but, you know... I feel like perhaps, perhaps, if you want to see me fight more Lionels, you could donate towards the, uh, the goal. <laughs> For instance, there is a red Lionel that we have to either fight or sneak around for the Varuta quest line, which we are going to do if we hit 10k. Um, so, you know, if, if you at least want me to deal with that one in single combat, for instance, uh... 10k is the goal for that. Well, 10k is the goal for dealing with Varuta. Um, perhaps we could set a, an earlier goal, because we have to do Varuta eventually. Um, well, no, no. 10k is the... Um, 10k is the goal for starting Varuta, which includes uh, the setup for having to do the... Did I miss the quest start thing? Did I just fully not talk to the person I needed to talk to because I was distracted? Yep, there they are. Sorry, kiddo. <laughs> Oh, wait, maybe not. What are these people doing? Hello? Is it you? Dang it, I keep seeing Koroks in the distance, and then they disappear, because they're not quest-important Koroks. Quit friggin' jerking me around, man. Alright, whatever. We'll just do the other one. We'll just run for it and see what happens. Did I miss him? Nope. Alright, whatever. There they are. Hello. Sure. Oh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh. Hmm. This feels like it's gonna be bad. All right. Just sneaky, sneaky. Good buddy. Nothing's wrong. Where are you going, little guy? Alright, everyone be Yeah, see, he gets it. Be very, very quiet. Did I uh did I lose him? Was I too sneaky? No, we found him. Okay. Quick, 
kiddo, say another one-liner. I've lost track of you. Well, bad news for that Korok guy. I've definitely lost track of Oki. <laughs> oh god. Where is he? Oh, okay. He's invisible in the tall grass. I see him! I see him! I see him! Oh god. Okay, that's what that is. Where did he go? Ah, there he is, toddling along like an adorable little bobblehead. No, nope, okay. Halfway! Come on, man! Okay. Let's into that big old fallen tree. We can do that. There he is. Okay. All right. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. Honestly, this is pretty relaxing. No, nobody's there. What the? What the fuck? Oh god. Yeah. Are you good, bro? Okay. Whew. For fuck's sake, Oki. See? Everything's going great and you're doing a good job. <laughs> Easy does it. Easy does it. Alright. I'm gonna move him away from the shrine now. Oh, Jesus. Are we good? Did he notice? Okay. All right. Okay, say something adorable. Ah! <gasps> okay. Okay. Oh, thank God. All right. Phew. I don't want to like stand up and him be like, who's there? And then I fail immediately. So I'm just, just gotta play it cautious. I'm 
just gonna assume this is okay now. Okay. Phew! Phew! Yeah! Yeah, you are, oh, you are brave, Oki. You're the most courageous of all of us. Phew! That wasn't so bad, actually. Let's go. All right. So that's all of them, I think. Looking forward to whatever fabulous prize I've earned. <clears throat> hey, hey. Chat. Strict no spoilers policy for Tears of the Kingdom. The art foot leaking is, uh, as far as I'm concerned, it didn't happen. Great. Robbie's gonna love it. Thank you. Okay. Alright. Awesome. Great. One more spore for the pile. Okay, great. So, let's see. That's the that's the Korok tr Trials. Um, it's the Master Sword acquired. I think that's everything we want to do in the Lost Woods. Uh, I mean, we can climb to the top of the Deku Tree, but all you get doing that is uh, a Korok that's like, Neat! Show me random items! That would be fun! Oh boy. Hmm. Oh, maybe I'll just noodle around for a while. Starting the Terrytown quest would be good. But I don't need to go near Baruta for a while, which is nice. <laughs> Dang right I have. Aw, oh, shucks. Thank you. <laughs> Whoa. Heck yeah. Not pulling your branch. Ooh, that's a... Uh... Okay. Fantastic. Mission accomplished. All right. Aw, oh, the flower petals. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of cooking, and then I'm going to go sleep. <laughs> Just kind of yeeted that in from five feet away. Mm, not bad. Let's see what happens if I double it up. With a big hearty radish. And, uh... Yeah, I guess that's it. Maybe an apple. Just for funsies. Watch out! Ooh, not bad. And let's just cook one by itself, see what happens. Okay. Um, yeah, let's just do a little bit more. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go nap. Hey, buddy. Until morning. Yeah. Oh. 
not so restful. Heck yeah, Pep. You're the sweetest. Get a ladle. Could break this jar. It is traditional. Ah, oh, nothing happened. Oh, something happened. No, I think it's just that. Okay. Yeah, awesome. Okay, I think we're done here. <laughs> Not doing the master trials. We gotta get well past 10k for this uh, fundraiser for me to do the master trials. <laughs> oh, let's see where to go. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, isn't that um? like zappy lightning thing over here is that why i marked it oh no i think it's over here actually yeah i'll just clean some of these pins off the map terrytown is going to be the next thing we go and start if we hit 7k raised for earthquake relief in uh, turkey and syria Mm. Ooh, there's a bird. <laughs> it's like, I gotta get out of here. Alright. Yeah, there we go. Gotta get over there. Come on, there we go. Adventure! Climbing the Deku tree is kind of fun, but ultimately not worth it. Uh, you find a Korok that's like, show me this item, and then if you do it, he's like, neat! That's basically it. I think he rewards you a little bit, but it's just kind of a hassle. Interesting. Huh. I don't think there's anything here. Yeah, not really. It just kind of looks weird. It's like that. It's got similar ground texture to the Breach of Demise and these weird piles of bones and stuff. It's like a bad guy camp. Anyway. Also start exploring around. Um, maybe get the Gerudo outfit, stuff like that. Um, well, I suppose I can just do what, whatever I want organically, because the next thing that uh, that you guys uh, can make me do is the Terrytown thing, and uh, we're still sitting at 6.2k raised for earthquake relief, which is fantastic. Um, because, as mentioned, the, uh, the earthquake that has affected Turkey and Syria is just really nightmarish. Uh, so the relief effort is all very well worthwhile. Um, also, the fundraiser that we're using is Direct Relief, which is a, an independent charity that's quite solid. We've worked with them before. Um, which is the uh, delicate way of saying that they are not funded by the Turkish government and they are not funneling money into the Turkish government. So this would actually go to earthquake relief. <laughs> Um. Anyway, yeah, so, all good things. Let's see. Oh yeah, I guess I- ooh! Yeah, let's just go up this way. I never take the roads. I keep forgetting they exist. I feel like this would be fun to shield surf down, but sadly we're going the other way. just occurred to me, I don't actually need to keep my headphones on, because I'm not on a call anymore. 
and the sound of my TV is not going through my headphones anyway. Whoops, sorry. I like how you can tell when I'm not looking at the screen because Link just starts running into rocks. Get off. Okay, there we go. Ah, much more comfortable in my ears. Hmm. Where are we going? Ah, I suppose this is a bit of a circuitous route. Oh, this will eventually lead into the Gerudo Desert. Well, hey, that's cool. We can get all up close and personal with Vanna Boris. Get struck by lightning a little bit. That is one of the fun things. It's it's kind of a shame about Va Meadow, uh, because all of the divine beasts have like some threatening thing about them that is causing problems for the people around them and stopping, uh, stopping you from getting close before you start the official quest line, basically. Um, so for Va Meadow, it's affecting the Rito. It shoots them down if they fly too high, which is probably a way to save the animators from having to animate a bunch of Rito NPCs flying around the overworld. Um, wow, it's bright here. Jesus. Uh, good god. Oh, I'm snow blind! Um, but it is also the... the Vomito doesn't affect us, basically. Like, it doesn't do anything until we start the quest line. Um, the other Divine Beasts, not so much. Oh, wait, am I freezing? God damn it, Link. Okay, hold on. You're fine. He's fine. Everything's fine. <sighs> anyway, well, let's just keep going, see where this leads. Um, but yeah, so Varuda is like flooding the Zora lands. And actually, as you walk, work your way up to Zora's domain, you can actually see uh, that there are flooded out villages, just completely abandoned, pretty much all the way south of it. Um, and Varudania uh, periodically, like, kicks the volcano funny, and it launches out these just flaming chunks of rock, like meteors. Uh, and if you're... Hold on. Oh, that one's real. How interesting. Uh, if you're sort of working your way into Death Mountain... Sometimes Rudania will get testy, and you'll just have to deal with the fact that it starts raining friggin' fireballs and, like, flaming chunks of rock. And Vanaboris, if you get close to it, will strike you with lightning. Like, you can just approach it anytime you want. It's just walking around in the desert, but you will get struck by lightning. And I like that. Oh, what the? What the? Uh, I think that's Farage. I'll, like, climb up faster. I want to take a picture of it. Come on! Come on! No! No! Link! Take the picture! God damn it. Yeah! Oh, the pick of a lifetime. Perfect. Incredible. All right, let's go back to climbing. Anyway, um... Yeah, so I, I kind of wish that Bomb Meadow had been more of an issue for us, you know? Like, if we paraglided near it, it would just shoot a laser at us. <laughs> ah! Hello, Design Doc. Yeah, uh, I do like that all the Divine Beasts are, like, canonically just wrecking everything around them. Um... Let's just get rid of this. It really makes them feel genuinely quite dangerous, but it's a bit of like, it's one of the rare cases where there's like gameplay and story uh, sort of a divergence there, because in the gameplay, of course, uh, you really only approach the Divine Beasts when you're doing their quest lines. Um, but if you sort of play it free roaming, like I like to do now, there is the chance that you approach these things earlier than you're supposed to, and that's when you find the things the game has in place to stop that from working. Uh, whoops. Nah, no thanks. I don't want to deal with the silver, silver looks awful right now. I feel like that would go badly for me. Huh. 
But yeah, yeah, the Rito quest line feels very, very short. Um, we just did Valmetto at the beginning of the stream, which was a lot of fun. Uh, but by far the quickest and painless of the Divine Beasts. Uh, painlessest? Most painless? Least painful? The quickest of the Divine Beasts. Uh, especially because it's just like, prove your worth, shoot five targets in three minutes, you can take as many breaks between as you want. It's like, this is fine. This is really, really easy. Um... Whereas everything else, there's a, there's a lot you have to do. Like, Vana Boris is a pain for so many reasons. Um, in large part because as part of the quest line, it's like, oh, you need to get this. How do you get this? Oh, well, you need to go and defeat the entire Yiga clan in a stealth mission. You need to do a stealth mission. And then after that, when the Yiga clan ambushes you, it's going to be way worse than it was before. Um, anyway. It is regrettable that this ends up making it look like Rivali is a whole lot of talk and nothing to back it up because he got totally wrecked by the absolute weakest of the uh, threats. All right. What is... Nope, that's some Korok bullshit. We're outie. Ah, there we go. All right. But I kind of like that Vomito is really simple, because I like it when things go well. So, you know. <sighs> yeah. Pretty generous with the targeting on that. The, uh, the Zora quest line definitely has more... Oh, whoops. <laughs> Sorry, zoned out again. The Zora quest line is definitely the longest, it feels like. Um, which is funny because... I don't know. I, to me, I feel like Vana Boris is harder than Valruta. I mean, intentionally so. Valruta, they sort of funnel you into doing first. Um, you obviously don't have to, but Vana Boris is like, you do that one last if you're smart, because Thunderblade is an actual nightmare. Um... And the lead-up to it is hard, too. Because there's so many things you have to... Like, just getting into Gerudo Town is a pain. And then just getting Riju to help you out with the Thunderhelm is a pain, because you have to deal with the Yiga Clan. And then, like, if you want to get the Thunderhelm, which you don't have to, but if you want to get it, there's something else you have to do. I don't remember. Um, and the Gerudo area also has the most, like, just wild stuff that you can just deal with. All the Malduga stuff. Um... Anyway, I also feel like the lead-up to Zora's Domain is like, oh, that's nice, is like half, um, tutorial, kind of, because the game does sort of encourage you to do it first just by having all those Zora just showing up every 50 feet, being like, you should go talk to our Prince Sidon, he really needs your help, and he's super nice and handsome, you should go say hi, um, and then it's just the road up to Zora's Domain is a huge pain, if you do it as intended, it's just a lot of combat, but it's not super bad combat. It's just probably worse than you were dealing with on the Great Plateau. Um, and of course, if you just sort of don't follow the roads, you can kind of get to Zora's Domain over the mountains. It's tricky because of the permanent rain, but you know, like most things in this game, if you get high up enough, you're probably going to be fine. Anyway. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, we're gonna... If we can hit 10k before I stream next, I'm gonna aim for Varuda next. Because um, we have the Master Sword now, so my my policy against not doing Vanaboros until I have the Master Sword has now been met, so we could do that now. But um, All right, let me just clean that pin off the map. Let's see, what else did I have pinned? Something way down there. I don't remember what. Um... No. Well, let's check out the Gerudo Desert. Maybe there's a few things we can do. Maybe. Mm hmm. 
Hmm. Eh. A little more climbing, may as well. Yeah, the linearity of Zora is definitely unique. Uh, it's... We, were ju we just did um, the Master Sword, which of course meant we were dealing with the Lost Woods, and Lost Woods is probably the most linear part of the game because it literally forces you to walk in a straight line or it voids you out. Um, and I like that Zora's Domain sort of, I guess, contrives a reason for you to do it linearly without it feeling like the game will, is like slapping your hands away from the controller every time you try and deviate from the path, because it's literally just like, it's kind of a a steep valley, and it's raining, and you can't climb when it's raining, and that's why you sort of have to follow the road. Uh, which can be a little bit annoying, but in a way that feels, like, annoying in-universe, rather than annoying to the player. Wow, we're really far up. The meadow, and the castle. Whoop. Oh god, it's silver. Okay. Well. Well. Yeah, why not? Why else did we even get the Master Sword? Whoop! Oh my god! <laughs> Let's just, uh... Boy, these things hit hard. Sword beam, I'm supposed to be able to do. No. Alright, great. Hey, sir! Great. Awesome. Alright, that was fun. Anyway. Wait, sword beam is only. No, the sword beam's not after the master trial. Oh, wait. Is the sword beam only when it's powered up because there are guardians near? That might be it. Oh, right, you have to throw it. Yeah, see? Who needs the master trials? Well, that's the edge of the map. No real point to that. Hmm, what to do? Let's see. I do want to get Dinral's scale. And I feel like this is the area that's usually in, so... And I have that pinned for some reason, so yeah, why not? Let's go here. Hmm, let's see. And yeah, if, uh, if we manage to hit 7k before I stop streaming... Let's see, what time is it? Okay, yeah. Um... I'm probably gonna, probably gonna aim to call this in like a bit over half an hour, you know, end it cleanly on the hour. Uh, that would make this another six hour stream. Last time I streamed, we did it for seven and a half hours. I would like to not repeat that experience. It was very fun, but then as soon as I stopped streaming, every alarm in my body went off at once. <laughs> this is the hazard of playing games you like when you have ADHD. Um... So we're gonna we're gonna try and be sensible about this. Ooh, you know what could be fun? Oh, hold on, what's that? There's birds circling, which means there's something over there. Oh, wait, that's definitely a place I've already been. Anyway, you know what could be fun? Going back to the Forgotten Temple and seeing how many guardians we can kill. We don't exactly have the armor for it. Oh, right, yeah. We could see... We could... Hmm. You know, we do have an awful lot of guardian parts now. We could at least check in with Robbie to see what his requirements are for stuff. Might be a good idea. Oh, birds circling over there, too. Something's going on. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Ooh, more rocks. Which means more rupees, which is good for our purposes. Oh, uh, no! Blink! Damn it! Okay, it's fine. Okay. Oh, come on, man. Focus. Thank you. Alright. Let's. 
let's see. Yeah. Actually. Okay. The goal for 7k, as mentioned, is Terrytown. That'll take us up to the Akala region anyway. Because that's right here. So, yeah, I'm going to hold off on seeing Robbie until we do that already. Because if we get Dinral, that would be nice. And I think this is the canyon that he sometimes flies through. Nope. We're good. And that does give us a reason to check out the Forgotten Temple. See if we have what it takes to kill the emplaced guardians. Harvest some more good parts. Give, have a nice present for Robbie. And potentially upgrade our runes, which is what requires um, the large numbers of guardian parts. Which would be good, because if we could get the stasis rune upgraded, we can use it on critters, which is really useful. Oh, hold on. Oopsies. That's the edge of the map. I've been going the wrong direction. Oh well. <laughs> I like how they don't just have like a Oh my god! Oh my god! It's Dinral! It's literally the thing I wanted to happen! Okay, hold on. Hold on. We need a good, uh, we need, we need good arrows. Hey, buddy. Oh god. Uh, maybe those are friendly! Oh please, oh please. Yes! No, no, let it drop. Yes, thank you. Okay. Great. We can drop this in the Spring of Power. Yes. I am not in the mood, sir. Thank you. Okay, where's the Spring of Power? Let's see. We found this before. It was, um... Wait, is that also a Kala? Oh, it super is. Okay. I guess we're going to a Akala regardless. <laughs> Phew! Okay. I, oh, oh, what a shot. <laughs> well, thanks for indulging me, Dinrel. <laughs> I'll get a picture of Dinrel later. I also might already have a picture of Dinrel. I think I did that before, because... When we were at the Spring of Power, he was literally flying overhead, but, like, so far up that there was no chance I could possibly get to him. Um. Ooh, big. Okay, let's see. Oh, yeah, we're facing almost exactly the right direction. Perfect. Oh, we can also do some memory hunting. Oh, hello. Saba Saba. Saba Saba. Hmm? <laughs> What? <laughs> okay, cool. Some of the wandering Gerudo, like one of the wandering Gerudo will buy gems at a higher price than shops will. It's just random which gem she wants. But that was not her. <laughs> oh man, so ominous. Is still heading in the right direction? Yeah! Yeah! Oh, it's totally radical. If they don't still have shield surfing in Tears of the Kingdom, I'm gonna lose it. Good evening, fellas. Whoop! Sorry! Ow! <laughs> yeah, okay, I kind of deserve that. Oh, alright, that's done. Okay. Fellas, relax. I'm not here for you. Yes, yes. Hey, girl. What's up? Thanks for donating $500, blue-eyed fool! Fantastic. 
Okay. Let's go. Oh, I can walk back here whenever I want. You see this, Ganon? First I took your horse. Then I took your spring! It may lead you to something interesting. Ah, oh, you don't need to tell me twice. Oh? 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 Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, all right. Superior pants time. Where the? There we go. Perfect. Now we're ready for combat. Yeah, let's just put out that, and then maybe equip the shield that doesn't suck, and then, yeah, okay, we should be good. Oh, and uh, let's set up a few of these, just so we have them. Whoops. <laughs> Ooh, chonky boy. Okay, what else I got? Uh, mm. Well, can't hurt. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. All right. Whoops. Okay, so the Master Sword runs out of energy. It's not a huge deal, but the thing is, if the Master Sword is running out of energy, it doesn't recharge on its own, so you sort of need to let it break and then just go. Ow, sir! Whoops. survive without eating food, this board will kill me. Oh, 
Okay, <laughs> yeah, there we go. Thanks, buddy. Here we go. Yep, here we go. Let's just start doing it as much damage as possible. Oh, I don't know if this is gonna. I don't know if we're gonna make it. Oh! Whew! Okay. Ah, awesome. All right. What else we got? There was a sword, right? Yeah, I'll take that. Phew! I should have known that the Shrine of Power wouldn't just be a blessing. All right, a little bit of tea. Ah, oh, fantastic. Okay. I'll take that. Yeah! Ah. Bless up for Hestu. Hearts can get more stamina. More stamina might be good. But I do like not dying. Hmm. <laughs> I've seen a few people point out that when they start doing the laser spinning attack, you can just do a down attack. Yeah, but I like shooting them in the eyeball. That's like what you're supposed to do. <laughs> uh, harder stamina, harder stamina. Uh, at this point, it's pretty much the same, so let's go with, uh... Alright. Heads is hearts, tails is stamina. Hey Siri, flip a coin. It's tails. Stamina it is. Okay. Pacha! Yeah, let's do it. Thanks, girl. Woohoo! Oh, we're getting there. It's nearly done. All right. Glorious. Well, that's the Shrine of Power all done. Now we can just work here whenever we want. Let's see. What the heck? Oh, yes. Okay. Terrytown for 7k. Woo! All right. And then we can go check in on Robbie. We can see how much money we actually need to shell out to get, like, the Guardian armor, because it would be really nice to have that. Or at least, like, the chest plate and uh, leg guards, because the helmet is stupid. We're not going to do that. We already have the Guardian circle for crying out loud. We don't need anything else. All right. Yeah, there it is. You might notice it looks a little bit different than it did last time. Even if those Guardian stalkers are back. You always go harvest them. Eh, maybe later. There he is. What's up, my dude? There. What's up? We meet again. Why won't it let me be nice to this man? <laughs> Terrytown. Good idea. However, it's wrong. Mm. It just isn't enough. It isn't enough anything. People, money, stuff. I'll help out. But why? There's nothing in it for you. I don't mind. I'm just, you know, I'm a hero like that. Yeah, a lifesaver, you could say. I don't suppose get started with a house for people to live in. Think you can bring me ten bundles of wood? I can combine it with what I've already got and get started on new houses. Oh, pfft, easy. Hey, girl. All right, let's see. Well, there's trees down there. 
don't see the Guardian Stalkers that normally hang out down there. Doesn't mean they aren't there. Just means I don't see them yet. Well. Banzai! Whoops. <laughs> Forgot to jump again. You know how it is. Oh! Found it! There was one. Where is the other? Well, you know what we do. We prepare to save scum. That's what we do. Ah, oh, Master Sword's still recharging. Yeah, we'll be fine. Oh. It's a double header again. Oh. I mean, while we're here, you know. Yeah. We're in danger again. But you know what they say. We should probably lure these things over here. Get them out of the way now. Losa. Excuse me. You have a moment to talk about our Lord and Savior. The God is highly up. There he is. Come here, you. Oh, got them both. Even better. All right, let's see. See what else we got. Man, oh yeah. Back away slowly, buddy. Hey, you should get back here. You should come back real close. See what happens. Ah. Smart enough. Keeping his distance. I see how it is. That's okay. It's not that smart. Mm. I see. Getting rid of the limbs is harder with a spear. No. Hold on. Just a second. Eh, I should probably buy more arrows next time we see Beetle. Where is he? Where is he? I can't tell. I don't know. Whoops. That's fine. Rosa. Hudson, all the wood he needs. Ah. Honestly, it only works because of those arches. Fighting those things in a, an open field is a nightmare. Need 
four more for this first one. Oh, shame. Ah. Hmm. Alright, back to bombs, I guess. Like, the pro strat fighting gardens is parrying the eye laser. But that's timing specific. And if you mess it up, you know, you get shot in the face with a laser. <laughs> in the game of killing guardians, the only way to win is not to play. Yep. Come on. There we go. Ooh, nice. Let's see, we should think of something for 8 point. We're sitting at 7.2, which is fantastic. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not sure. Whoops. Dang it. All these little buttons. Alright, back up here, back to Terrytown. around here, isn't there? I guess if we re-up arrows at uh, a stable, wouldn't be too bad. We'll go to a stable, get haunts, get up to Robbie the slow way. Could be fun. Oh, okay. guys, I'm hydrating. I've got tea. I've got water. The water's out of reach, but that's irrelevant. The tea is right here. <laughs> Hey, buddy. Oops, sorry, I landed on the fire. Hey. Oh. Hi. Sure did. <laughs> nope, bye. Tiki. Alright. Mm. Well, next is... I want to move them out of the way. It would really help me if you could find someone with enough brute physical strength to bust them apart. Mm. Yeah, if we're talking about brute physical strength, and we are. A Goron would be my first choice. Uh... In accordance with the official Bolson construction policy, that someone's name must end in Sun. If you wanted anyone who fits what I've said, send them here to Terrytown for me. So I gotta find a Goron with a, a name that ends in Sun. So that's fun. Um, let's let's go here and get a get get Ganonhorf. <sighs> Buy some arrows, sell some rocks. Yeah. All right, perfect. Oh, oh sweet. <laughs> the master sword recharged just in time. Oh, that was my fault. I did sort of use it to hit rocks. Oh, hello. Wait, come back. Excuse me, fellow traveler. Hello! What does your name end in? Yeah. Not son. Great. Good talk, Nadin. Later is... Hello. Do you buy rocks? Sabak. Sabak. Mm? Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> that sounds like a good way for me to get ambushed by the Yiga, my dude. Oh, right. This is the freaking dragon. We're going to... Uh, well. Is my boy Beetle in here? Is my boy Beetle out here? Do you buy stuff? Yeah. I'm a humble traveler. <laughs> Show off. Mm. No, not at all. Anyway. Oh. Whoa, that sword you have there. It's legendary. <laughs> ha! You must be joking. Deep in a forest. No one's ever returned from that forest. How could a twig like you find it? Oh, you sweet-talking flatterer. 
<laughs> I'm gonna go after the legendary sword. So just stay out of my way. Alright, good luck, Rex. <laughs> I really feel like every game needs their Bruce, you know? The person who thinks they're the protagonist. Is there nowhere I can buy or sell shit at this stable? Beetle! Beetle, my savior and friend! There you are! Hello! Hello! Oh, thank goodness. Wow! We meet again. We must have been married in our past lives! <laughs> ah. Oh, I mean... <laughs> yes, yes. Gimme, 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 gimme. <laughs> well, you know what I do. Yeah, I'll take them all. <laughs> Fantastic, alright. Please buy all of my amber. Ooh. Let's see. What do we got? Oh, yeah. We got chonkers. You got six. Yeah, sure. Yay! Seven. I just like working them down to nice round uh, <laughs> numerical numbers. so many diamonds now. Ooh, maybe I can upgrade the diamond circlet. There's a great fairy fountain around here, isn't there? <laughs> Alright, we're good. Later, beetle. <laughs> Bye. Okay, let's see. I feel like there's a great fairy around here. Oh, yeah, right by Terrytown. What am I doing? Um... Uh, yeah. Mm. Where do I have to go to put the ancient horse saddle on Hans so I can just pokeball him in whenever I want? I got so many diamonds because I killed like two of those rare taluses today and they each dropped two diamonds. <laughs> And then we'll work our way up to Robbie. In fact, maybe we'll just warp to Robbie and then maybe like ride the horse back. Uh, there she is. Let's see. Are there any more fairies? Last time, two of these fairies spawned like 10 feet overhead and I couldn't get them and it was really upsetting. Doesn't look like it. No, just a bunch of amaranths. Okay, whatever. Hey, girl. What's the haps? Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Yes. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. circle it up with me. Oh, I need even more diamonds. Alright, well that'll be a project for later. Ooh. Yeah, unfortunately I would like the rubber tights enhanced, please. Thank you. <sighs> nice. Nice. Mm. Please don't tell me. No! <laughs> Stop telling me about set bonuses! <laughs> right. Actually, what do I need for the rest of these? Or Safrina, no idea for that. Peace Wing, High Tail Lizard. More, gotta kill more Lionels for that one. Uh, Peace Wing, High Tail Lizard. I should be buying more High Tail Lizards whenever Beetle has them. Oh, yes, and then I have to get Shards of Ferocious Horn to upgrade the Champions. Tunic. That'll be fun. Great, awesome. Huh. Yes, please. Give me the stupid fish helmet. Hmm. 
yeah. Oh no, what a shame. Alright. Bye. Alright, awesome. Let's go see Robbie! Huzzah! Huh. Okay, let's see. 7.3k. Maybe nice. I still haven't thought of anything for 8k, because we were doing the Terrytown thing. <laughs> Maybe for 8k we go and actually find, um... What's his name? Uh... Agoron with his, the last name Sun. Or the... A name that ends in Sun. Hey, Cherry. Hey, hey, beat familiar name missing. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh. Ooh. We just need like 800 more rupees to get both of these. That's pretty good. Let's start with the... the... I mean, let's start with the Greaves so we can keep the guns out as long as possible. Yeah. Yeah. All right. How do they look? Do they look stupid? Yeah, a little bit. Okay, cool. Back to the regular pants. But it's good that we have them. We can now start upgrading them. And when we get like 800 more rupees, we can start dealing with that. We, we, can, we can get more. It'll be great. How's a campfire here? Oh my god. God, Robbie, this has to be some kind of environmental hazard. <laughs> it turns out, like, all Sheikah technology runs on lithium-ion batteries, and this is like a toxic waste site now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Kiddo, you should probably get out of here. <laughs> bye bye Yeet. Any of these searchable or... Oh, they are. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take that. Take that. Heck yeah. All right, cool. That looks to be everything we can get from here. Um, just kidding. Oop, easy, buddy. Okay. Oop, dang it. Sorry, right, you were there. Anyway, huh? Let's see. Well, I said I was gonna end at uh, right now, but I mean. We're gonna wind down. Oh. Oh, right, I forgot about that guy. Hmm. 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 <laughs> hmm. I was kind of hoping that would do something. Oh. Excuse me, sir. Well, you know what? Let's get in some practice parrying guardian lasers. Just a little bit. Just a skosh. Don't do it like that. Oh, so that was too early. Good to know. We're gonna... I don't like going through shields at this rate. No, but that would be cheap. I think if we die, we'll just do... There we go. Third time's the charm. Was that the third time? I wasn't paying attention. Heck yeah. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme, gimme. Huh, sword's still glowing. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Takes a second for it to figure out. 
All right, let's see what to do. So many wonderful options, especially since we're taking it chill, taking it sleazy. Ooh, what's over here? Have we not been here? Nothing's labeled. It's pretty cool, actually. Oh, right, it's like the road up to Skull Lake. Oh. Oh, I know who we could find. Let's see, what time is it? It's kind of late. Hmm. Well. Oh, yeah! And we can go back to Hateno and, uh, give Bolson some money to furnish our house. If we want to delay getting the Guardian Kiras more. Could also see if the Great Fairy can upgrade the one I currently have. That might be a good idea, actually. Um, or, let's see. Yeah, I don't think Kilton's going to show up here unless it's night. Which it isn't. But... Hmm. We can still take a look around, see if there's any interesting rocks to blow up. And... Ooh! Hey guys, is there a talus around here? Or like, nearby? Or perhaps near Hateno? Guys, I'll take a break afterwards. I'm fine. I'm having a very good time. I've eaten enough food, I've hydrated, and I'm not going to run for crazy long, I promise. But, I'm having a good time, that's why I like playing this game. Hey, sir! Alright, whatever. Hmm. Well, while you guys figure out where's a good talus for me to kill... We'll go back to Hateno and make Bolson give us more stuff. Nope. Gotta go farther. There we go. Nope. Still farther. God, this map is big. Oh, yeah. It's all the way past Mount Lanayu. Okay. Whoops. Whew. Hey. After I put down the controller, you know, that. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, that's future Red's problem. Current Red is feeling fun and fancy free. Heck yeah. Bolson, I have more rupees for you. I wish I could just tell Bolson, like, here's a lump sum. Put everything in my house. Because it's like 100 rupees per upgrade, but there's a limited number of upgrades, and once you get all of them, he's like, by the way, I also gave you, like, furniture and place settings and all this other nice stuff. Hey! Build me something. What you want? Ooh, installation. I would love a bed, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm ready to pay up. Can I skip this part? Because I have to see it every time. <laughs> How's I'm coming for you? Oi. Can't skip it. Ah! Huh. <laughs> a lot of work for a bed. Pretty flawless, so I do say so myself. We should take a look. I'll go take a look. That sure is a bed. I should have probably asked for a door first. Hold on. Wilson. Hello. Oh. Hi. I would love a door, thank you. Oh. <laughs> okay. And yeah, I think uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> this gets a little uh, tedious going through the whole thing. So instead, we're just gonna <laughs> army studs of stud work. You know, tune we are. Uh, I'll ask for a bow display, put in the Rivali's bow, and then just leave it at that. Um, and kill a talus. Yep, let me out. Thank you. Okay, great. 
Yeah, that's a door, all right. Okay. One more. Hello. Mm. Hi. Build me something. Gear displays. I would love a bow mount, thank you. Oh. 100 rupees. I'm ready to pay up, girl. There, okay, we, we killed the talus that's on the Great Plateau. Um, oh. I know there's one near the Great Plateau. I just couldn't remember where exactly it was. Ah. We are beasts of construction. I love this man's energy. <laughs> Thanks, fellas. A lot of work for nailing something to a wall. If I might volunteer. Okay. Let me in. Yeah. Yeah. All right, what do we got? Phew. All right. It's a load off my mind. Oh, it's got the little... It's got, like, the... It's got the same fucking scarf that Rivali has. God. Okay, whatever. Um, let's see. Anything we want to put here? Nah, I don't think so. Actually... These are pretty cool. It would be probably nice to not keep wasting them on dumb shit, so... I'm gonna get two more weapon mounts and then we're gonna be done uh, pimping out our house. Hey, Bolson. Oh. Build me something. Gear displays. Weapon mount, thank you. There are three taluses in the dueling peaks. Well, that would be great. Forest Dweller's sword is not replaceable? Oh. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, I'll, I'll put that up then. It's dazzling time again, baby. Oh. Been waiting. Carson is the best character. <laughs> Bolson is like the funniest character, but I think Carson is incredibly funny by proxy because Carson just like does not, doesn't mind. All right, great. Whoop. <laughs> That door almost got me. Boop. Oh, it's cute. I like it. All right. Uh, anything else? Oh, hold on. <laughs> All right, great. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, fuck. Okay. Where's a good talus? So there were three on Dueling Peaks. Hmm? Huh? How are Dueling Peaks? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oof. All right, guys. Talus. Would love to kill more Taluses. Oh, right! The hammer. Excuse me. Anything interesting? Nope. Okay, cool. Whatever. It was possible. Maybe there was a Korok that was just hanging out in front of my house the whole time. I didn't know. Alright, anyway. Okay, Dueling Peaks. Dueling Peaks Taluses. One south, two north. Alright. The north area. Where should I be aiming? Gia Highlands, you say? Gia ah, like over here? Cool. All right. Yeah, we'll just go like there-ish. <laughs> I feel like this, this house is so weird and unsettling until Bolson is like, oh, okay, I'm all out of upgrades, so I'm just gonna entirely furnish it with you, get you some like, table settings, you know, pictures on the wall, and it stops looking like a weird, like, ghost warehouse full of weapons. Oh, hold on. We gotta get out of here soon, because Link is a huge baby whiner about it being cold. Okay. Alright, directly south? Hold on. Directly south of Dueling Peaks. So, like, 
like right ish oh is it like on the mountain is it like like near here is it here is it one of those those rocks are suspicious and it's making me auto save yes yes good oh let me uh let me just heal real quick <clears throat> Alright. Banzai! Hey, Buster Brown. Guess what time it is. Oh yeah, you already know what time it is. Yeah, yeah. Whoops. Whoops. Woo! Eh, I've had worse. Alright. You know, when I died. Oh, this is Junior! I remember! We accidentally ran into Senior the first time I climbed the mountain, and I left! Do I have bomb arrows? I've never used them on a talus before. Oh, yeah. 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 Ho 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 ho! Whoa, baby! Damn it, Link. Damn it, Link. Come on, man. Figure it out. Fantastic. All right, where's the other one? <laughs> Yes. Oh, it's all coming together. Alright, anything else? I feel like there was another bit. That's ah, fine. We're fine. Alright, where's Senior? Other peak on the North Mountain. Okay. I think the uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna end the, I'm gonna put an end point of this just one more thing chain. We're gonna keep the just one more thing chain going just a little bit to get the 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 guardian cuirass, uh, which we can afford if we sell a lot of gems, and we're about to get a lot of gems. Okay, it's not even that cold. Come on, man, you're fine. Alright, chat, you're gonna have to tell me roughly where to go, because I'll keep looking around. Oh, nope, that's not what I wanted. What the? What the? West side of the mountain. Ah. Pop, 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 pop. But yeah, so we kill the talents, we get the gems, we sell the gems, probably to Beetle, because we love him. Um, ah. That's a suspiciously battlefieldy look at. Yep, there he is. Alright. Can I wake him up without being right on top of him? Might be more efficient. Yeah, I'm gonna find a way to stay on top of him when he, wake, when he wakes up. Hello, sir. General Kenobi. Yeah, yeah. No, come on, bro. Woo! Close one. You almost scuffed my hair, dude, bro. Alright, like a little speedier might be good. I love the Talus fight music, it sounds so good. Alright, where 
you at, homie? There he is. Ooh, pretty hefty chunk. Easy, easy. Woohoo! First try. All right. Oh god, oh god. Don't fall down the mountain. I wish these guys exploded with a little bit less bombast. I always worry about everything just going everywhere. All right. Fantastic. Where's the nearest stable? I feel like there's one like right. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, right here. Okay, fantastic. All right, we sell the gems. We get 2,000 rupees. We go and trade them in for the Guardian Kiras. Then maybe we go to a great fairy and see if we can upgrade them. And then, then we're done. <laughs> but, as a reminder, if we hit 10K on the VOD, uh, the next time I stream, the absolute first priority is going straight to Varuda. Um, which means doing the full Zora, uh, Zora's Domain quest line, getting all the way up there. She might be a Yiga clan, but I think we're actually fine. Um, and I think that will be fun. Hey. hey, buddy. Who needs directions? I follow my heart and the whims of my soul, bro. Uh, so yeah. Hi. Ah. Look what I've got. Oh. All right. Let's see. Yeah, get out of here. Okay, it's pretty good. Just need about 800 more. Let's see. Oh. All right, it's not bad. Okay. I think we can nickel and dime our way the rest of the way. Yeah, all right. What else we got? Mm. Yes, yes, please take my Bacoblin guns. There we go. Perfect. Alright. Well, what do we got? Oh, wait, I have no money. Or I'm gonna have no money. Sorry, buddy. Didn't mean to get your hopes up. Laters. Alright. Robbie! I have rupees! Let's go! Whew! Okay. Probably better friggin' appreciate this. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Welcome. Yes. Ah! No! Come on, man. I didn't consider that I might need more stuff. Okay. Well. Because we haven't acquired the Guardian Kiras. I feel justified in doing this. Uh, <laughs> I've got a really, really great idea. And you guys are gonna love it. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, yeah, yeah, just one more thing. Alright. Huh, let's go. <laughs> oh, this is dangerous. <laughs> but that's okay. We're here for fun. We're here for a good time. We're here to put on the most beefy armor we have, baby. Okay, Guardian Circlet, that's good. Pants, good. Guns, out. <laughs> 
guns blazing. All right, that's gonna have to do. Um, why did I sort them like that? There we go. Yeah, cool. All right. <clears throat> we gotta be careful about this. We gotta be tactical. We gotta be stealthed. We gotta be super ready to go. I love that they decided, oh yeah, the Master Sword is now, like, Sting from Lord of the Rings. It glows in the presence of evil. Because that's the coolest thing they could have done with it. It's great. Oh yeah, when we get to the top of the wall, I'll save. Don't worry, guys. I'm a professional. I know what I'm doing. I have cleaned out the Forgotten Temple before. But I had the full Guardian armor. So... Somebody under your firing range? Oh, for fine. <laughs> Whoops. This is going great. Whoops. All right. So here's what we're going to do. <laughs> you good, bro? He's fine. We're fine. Take two. We've already gotten two of them down. This time, we're just not going to get caught. Back to it. Oh yeah, I should probably also heal. Just a skosh. Just a little. Just a smidge. Yeah. I believe the technical term for that, as coined by Yahtzee Croshaw, is a cock-up cascade. <laughs> When you get one thing wrong and everything just starts getting worse. <laughs> Guys, if you get me to 10k, I'll stop the stream and be like, Alright, next time, Varuda. <laughs> Let's see, how many gears did we need? Like 20? Just want to have some idea of what I gotta, what I gotta sort through. Alright, yeah, we're getting there. It's pretty good. Precision. Stealth. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Incredible. Okay. Oh, a chest. Heck yeah. I'll take that. Yeah. Easy. You saw nothing. Oh, it must have been the wind. Come on, buddy. Figure it out. There we go. Heck yeah. Alright. 
How many is that? Oh, getting there. Getting there. Whoops. Whoop! Get under the ledge, get under the ledge, get under the ledge! Okay, good. Phew! I bet the camera will tell me if one of these things is alive or not. Huh! We learn something new every day. Uh, still on alert, I see. That won't save you from my wrath. Why are you guys singing Rasputin? Alright guys, if you get to 8k, I will save and parry the last one. one. Oh, I see. Okay. Manageable. Ooh, maybe less than ideal, though. <laughs> Blind spot! Oh, God. Like, like... That's the second time that strat has paid off for me this week. <laughs> Getting there. Six more. All right. training all those years smash bros remember the devastation of the butt stab oh. perfect glorious no notes all right what else we got you you seem fine you that's a problem Getting any? Ah, I'm sure it'll let me know. Conveniently, they all tend to look at the door. <laughs> so, when you're approaching from the back after you get the shrine, it, it actually kind of works out a little better. Oh, oh that's neat. Okay. Decayed Guardian. Second Decayed Guardian. Third Decayed Guardian? Oh, uh, that's a problem for later. And it's helpfully auto-saving. Rivali's Gale is now ready. Shh, shh, that's a loud Rivali. Ooh. Right, let's deal with the other one in a bit. First. Hey, big man. Uh, so it's eight after this one. That makes sense. Man, this is easier when you have the Master Sword. <laughs> Whoop, sorry. Not really 
Is that thing a problem? Oh, that thing is for sure a problem. Oh, we're one away. But I think we legally still have to clear out the rest of this. You know, it's our duty as the hero or something. Let's go. Let's go high, I think. Let's take out the... A bit dicey, but I think we can do it. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh, hello. What are you looking at? Come on! Whew. This strategy is really paying dividends, I must say. Oh, we're nearly at 8k, which means I would have to parry the last one. Let's see, how many of them do we still have? One. Two. That one looks more annoying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is great. Everything's working fantastically. Oh, we're at 8k. Well, now I do have to parry the last one. But I think we can still kill this one. The normal strat. Hey. What are you looking at? Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I... Hello? There we go, jeez. Phew, okay. Yeah. All right. How are we looking? That, that would be cheating. That, that might not even parry. All right. Get a little snacky. Whoops. Nope. Save. And. How are you, big fella? Oh! Oh, get dunked on. Oh, that was beautiful. Good work, everybody. <laughs> you fundraised for a good cause, making me look very cool. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, hey, the Forgotten Temple is uh, guardian-free until the next Blood Moon. We can do some archaeology the next time we play. All right. Back to Ravi. By the Kiras. Over to the Great Fairy. See if she can upgrade it. Then I'm gonna call it a stream. <laughs> and as mentioned, if you are watching this as a VOD, uh, and we are not yet at 10k raised, which is entirely possible that we've already reached it, uh, the next time I stream, if we reach 10k, I will be going straight to do the whole Zora's Domain Varuda quest line. So, uh, you know, meeting Sidon, making our way up to Zora's Domain, proving our worth a few different ways, we reach a certain level, I might also fight the Lionel instead of just sneaking around and stealing all his arrows. Um, is, the, is the blue flame thing out? Oh, thank God. It, it was just being weird. I was like, if they make me do that blue flame quest again, I'm going to freaking lose it. All right. We better be right about this. I love my name missing. Yes. Yes. Good. Hell yeah. Woohoo! Incredible. Fantastic. I wonder if you can die the guardian armor. Alright, one thing at a time. So that's the full look. Without the stupid helmet, which we're not getting. And it's pretty solid, I gotta say. I've definitely seen worse. Uh, we're gonna go see if the great fairy can do anything with that, and then we're gonna call it a stream. Let me put my good pants back on. All right. What's the nearest Great Fairy? I feel like... Ah, oh, who cares about the nearest Great Fairy? Let's go to the Great Fairy. I actually know where it is. Oh, if the dark blue sections take dye, we can see if we can uh, get whatever they need for crimson. Because uh, 
the pure red one is a little bit harsh on the eyeballs sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Heck yeah. All right. Hello, Brickberry. Ooh, how many stones? No, focus. <laughs> we are going to need to get more rupees next time. We have zero dollars. God, I have so much stuff for this. Oh. This means that I'm going to have the best decked out armor as an option if we need it. Obviously, we can't deny people access to the gun show, but like, you know. Mm. Oh my God, stop telling me about set bonuses. Ah. Yes, please. Oh, why can't you enhance the cuirass again? What's wrong with it? What do you need? Oh, more ancient gears. What a shame. Well, you know what we'll be doing the next time. <laughs> Can always just go back to the Forgotten Temple and get in more parrying practice. Yeah. Okay. See you later. Bye! Oh, fantastic. Okay. Well, that went very well. We're not dying them this time. Oh, but it would be so funny. Mm. Okay, so, as I was saying, uh, the next time I stream, if we reach... 10k raise for Earthquake Relief, which would be fantastic. What we've already raised has been great. Again, this is going through Direct Relief, and they're great uh, for all of this stuff. So that that's all that's all very good. You've all done a very good job. Um, but if we do reach 10k, I will go and do Varuta uh, and Water Blight Ganon, hopefully, which uh, might be less of a pushover than Va Meadow was. I've always found uh, Water Blight to be kind of a pain in the ass. So, so that'll be fun and exciting. Uh, if we can reach that, <laughs> if you're watching this as a VOD, uh, you can still donate through the link, uh, or the little, little donation-y, donation bar thingy. You know, the thing. Yeah. So, uh, and if we reach 10k, or if we've already reached 10k, I'll probably say something about it, which is great. Um, how much more can I stall for time so it doesn't look like I've yet again just one more thing myself into- Oh, it's too late, we're already at the dye shop! Hello! <laughs> Yep, yeah, yep, 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 yep. Oh no! I have no money! <laughs> That's okay! <laughs> we can fix this! Oh my god. Sorry, kids. <laughs> Whoo! Hello. <laughs> what the? No. Yes, thank you. Okay. Phew. Okay. Boy, my my cunning plan really is crumbling around my ears. But that's okay. We're good. <laughs> Later. Sorry. I got things to do, my man. Things that don't involve continuing to play this video game forever. <laughs> we just gotta do one more thing. It's just one more thing. <laughs> I said 10k would be what it took for me to just fully stop for the day. <laughs> yes, die. Phew! Okay. Choose color. Sure. What? Oh, that's probably the circlet. Okay. Ugh. Actually, that's not terrible. That's not much better. Yeah. Yeah. Thank God I always have 
all these spicy peps. Okay. Phew! Hold your breath. Every time this happens, Link looks so surprised. <gasps> yeah! Oh, it's an eyesore! I love it. How is it? It's fine. All right. Fantastic! As I was saying, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, I'll be back uh, streaming probably next Tuesday, but I'll, I'll post specifically about it, you know. Um, it's possible I might actually take the week to relax a little bit, but it's also possible that I won't do that. Kind of depends on how much I can get done. Um, anyway, uh, yeah. Uh, as mentioned, the fundraiser attached to this is going to an extremely worthy cause. Uh, so... If you want to donate and uh, encourage me along the road to doing Varuda, which is somewhere, the, eh, somewhere around here, it's somewhere, um, that would be pretty cool. But as always, what you've donated has already been incredible, so thank you all so much. Um, I'm so glad you guys are enjoying these streams, because I have a really good time doing them, and I'm not entirely sure how or if they are fun to watch, so it's, it's encouraging that you guys have stuck around. Um... <laughs> Anyway, uh, yeah, uh, as always, we'll be back on Friday with another regular video. This one actually has a pin attached to it. Uh, the pin is a new and experimental thing I'm trying. Uh, I'd be very happy if it worked, but, you know, it's, it's, uh, <laughs> not my call. So, anyway, uh, I'm gonna go for realsies. I promise, actually, this time. Uh, thank y'all so much for watching, and, uh, I will see you next time I do one of these. Bye, everybody!